If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. On year 730, the Saiyans has now allied themselves with a tyrant named Frieza. Frieza wanted nothing but to use the Saiyan and to get him to do his dirty work. From there, years has passed and now it's year 737. A very special boy was born in this year and his name was Kakarot. Bardock and Guiné were the parents of Kakarot and they noticed that his power level was off the chart and that he was born very special. Kakarot's power level was over 1000 at birth. Guiné didn't want the other Saiyans to know about Kakarot's real power level and therefore Bardock decided to go and label him to be at a power level of over only 200. Guiné wanted everything she can to make sure Kakarot isn't exposed to anyone and that they will end up knowing his true parallel because she saw what King Vegeta has done to Broly. Due to the fact that he was born with a high power level, he has exiled him from planet Vegeta. She didn't want Kakarot to have the same fate. One eventful day, Frieza made his way towards planet Vegeta. While he was coming, Guiné was with Goku as she did her first step on trying to train Goku to be a pure-hearted Saiyan. While she was doing that, Bardock has now come back to planet Vegeta after completing his mission but Bardock noticed that Frieza's spaceship was hovering over planet Vegeta. From there, Bardock had an idea on why Frieza's here and that he went towards Guinea and said, Frieza the bastard! He is going to destroy this planet! What? What are we going to do? You have seen Kakarot's potential, right? Of course I did. If there's anyone that'll stop that bastard, it's going to be him. Let's send him away to another planet, and if we survive, we will go and get him. Gine didn't like that idea, as she told him to leave her with Kakarot and he should join them too and they all should leave planet Vegeta. But Bardock told him that they couldn't do that, since he wasn't 100% sure if Frieza was going to come and destroy the planet. Bardock went and picked Goku up and he was making his way towards the space pod. While he was doing that, Frieza went and he powered up a blast and threw it towards the planet. Bardock saw the blast coming towards them as it was about to hit them but Goku went and he began to surround his entire body with some key pressure and from there he went and rushed towards the blast as he managed to go and disperse it. Upon seeing that, all the Saiyans were completely surprised including Bardock and Guiné, while Goku lost all of his power and he passed out. Bardock then ran and picked Goku up and said, I told you Guiné, if there's anyone that can beat Frieza, it's going to be our son. Today he has shown us his true power. Just when Bardock had an idea to go and take Goku somewhere so he can train him, Frieza decided to go and enter planet Vegeta because he saw that his blast got dispersed and he was very curious on who did it. Once when Frieza came towards the planet, Frieza looked around as he saw King Vegeta and he said, Tell me monkey, who managed to disperse my attack? Wh wh why were you trying to kill us? <laughs> I don't need you monkeys anymore. But before I destroy your planet, you have a chance, I'll spare you guys. Tell me. Who managed to disperse my attack? Well, if that's the case, it was Kakarot, Bardock's son. What? Don't be silly. It wasn't him. It was me, Frieza. I won't let you end my life or destroy this planet. Frieza went and decked Bardock right in his guts as he couldn't breathe and from there he went and snapped his neck as he died right there. Guiné upon seeing that got very emotional as she couldn't believe that her husband has died and she said, You're a fool. You think my husband was the one who stopped your attack? You will see who did that, and you'll die by him. Is that so? Oh well then, say goodbye to this planet if he's still here. Zarban, take her to the ship. I have some business with her. Zarban went and took Guiné, and he made his way towards Frieza's spaceship. While Frieza went and threw another blast towards planet Vegeta, and it got destroyed. But little did he knew, Goku's space pod has already left the planet and it made a course towards planet Earth. Frieza began to laugh and said, You see, I destroyed your planet. But something tells me that the monkey wasn't there. Hmm, where can he have gone? You're right, Frieza. I don't know where he's gone, but he will be the one to kill you. <laughs> Is that so? Okay then, 
I'm gonna keep you alive until the day I find that monkey. And once when I do, you're dead and him. While Frieza was trying to go and look for Goku, Raditz, who was already on Frieza's spaceship, saw his mom was there as he got very worried and he said, Mother, what are you doing here? How did you survive? I'm happy to see you're alive. I'm glad to see you're alive too, son. Raditz then told Gine that Vegeta and Nappa are also with him as they survive and they're working with Frieza, but they're undercover because they're waiting for the right moment to go and end him. He then told Vegeta about his mother being alive and they all came up with a plan to escape Frieza's wrath. While that was happening, Goku's space pod has now landed on planet Earth as he crash landed towards the ground and he began to crawl and from there he went and started to cry. But out of nowhere, a man who was walking by him saw him as he went and picked him up and that was no one other than Grandpa Gohan. He then decided to name him Goku and he wanted to go and raise him to be one of his own children. Goku was being raised by Grandpa Gohan during his time but he was very aggressive and he wanted nothing but to fight people. One day Goku went and bumped his head as he got a little bit more calm and now 10 years has passed since he has landed on planet earth. During those 10 years, Grandpa Gohan has died due to some accident which Goku doesn't know about but he was living his life alone trying to do everything he can to survive but he has never gotten the real chance to go and fully train. One day Boma came to Goku's house since she was looking for the Dragon Balls. She then asked Goku to help her find the Dragon Balls. Goku agreed and from there they went and managed to collect all the 7 star Dragon Balls with ease and while doing so, they managed to go and meet with Yamcha. During their adventure and because of having Yamcha in their life, Boma decided to go and be Yamcha's girlfriend and therefore she didn't have any interest in using the Dragon Ball. Goku saw that he was able to get his Dragon Ball back and from there he went and took all the Dragon Balls with him and he went right back to his home. Once when he got there, Goku remembered what Master Roshi told him after meeting him and that he was offering Goku to come to his island and train. Goku decided to go and take his offer as he left his home and he made his way towards Master Roshi. Once when he got there, Goku was happy to see him as Roshi was excited to go and begun training Goku and from there Krillin also came and joined him in the training session and now, one year has passed since Goku begun training with Master Roshi. His power level has increased big time and he has managed to go and unlock a new form which he has never used before but it is there in case he ever needs it. The time has come for everyone to go and enter the World Martial Arts Tournament. Goku was there as he easily went and made his way towards the finals and the final was him versus Jackie Chung. Jackie Chung knew about Goku since it was Master Roshi and he knew his weakness and he decided to go and use that on Goku. As he managed to go and use his lightning flash attack on Goku and it struck him by surprise. Goku couldn't move but he went and screamed. Goku has now transformed into a Super Saiyan. Upon seeing that, Roshi got very surprised while Goku managed to go and easily disperse his attack and he went and one shot Roshi out of the arena as he flew meters away and he won the tournament. Everyone was busy celebrating while Roshi went and told Goku about the Red Ribbon Army since he saw that Goku was very strong, no one can come in his way. Goku decided to go and make his way towards the Red Ribbon Army base as he went and managed to go and disband them. Upon doing so, Goku came right back to where everyone were and they continued to celebrate. While on earth Goku was celebrating, back towards Frieza's place, Frieza and the rest were busy trying to find Goku while Vegeta, Nappa and Raditz heard a rumor about someone who was very strong coming from the far end of the universe. They had no idea who that is but Frieza also had no idea about this power level. They didn't want to tell him because they knew it was a secret that the Saiyans had to keep. Raditz went and told Gine about that as she told him that it was no one other than Kakarot and that he was sent to a planet called planet earth. Upon hearing that got Vegeta very curious to see just how strong Goku is and that if he's as strong as how Gine says he is, he could be very useful for their crusade to go and stop Frieza. They all made a plan to go to planet earth 
within the next couple of years but they couldn't go now because Frieza was watching them. They were waiting for the right opportunity to make their way towards planet Earth and Raditz was the one who was responsible to go there and try to get Goku to come with him if he's on planet Earth. Back on Earth, one year has passed since Goku managed to win the World Martial Arts Tournament and he also managed to disband the Red Ribbon Army. And just like before, they all decided to go and make their way towards the World Martial Arts Tournament yet again. Goku went and beat anyone else in his way, including his new friend named Tien, as he won the championship and now they went to celebrate but Goku sensed that someone came to the tournament as they were trying to kill off all the fighters and that someone was no one other than Tambourine. Tambourine went and he tried to assault Tien but Goku went and stopped him as he easily went and flicked him away and threw a blast towards Tambourine and he died. Master Roshi saw that Tambourine was carrying an evil symbol which represents King Piccolo. He then told Goku about who King Piccolo is and now Goku decided to go and find where King Piccolo is as he saw that King Piccolo managed to go and gather all the Dragon Balls except for the 4 star ball. Goku went and took Boma's radar and he made his way towards King Piccolo and once when he got there, Piccolo saw him and said, Hmm? Who are you? Why are you here? You try to kill all the fighters? I'll end you myself! <laughs> what a brat! What do you think you can do? I'll kill you myself! King Piccolo went and he was about to make a move but before he can, Goku came right in front of him. As Goku went and landed a blow right towards Piccolo's stomach as he pierced through it. From there, Piccolo began to go and scream as he managed to release an egg and he died right there. Goku saw that the battle was over so he was about to go right back to his friends but then Mr. Popo came towards him and told him that the Earth's Guardian would like to see him. While Goku went to meet the Earth Guardian back on Frieza's planet, they had an opportunity to go to planet Earth as Raditz decided to go within 3 years and try to get Goku to come join them while Goku went and met with Kami and now they are about to find out more about the Saiyans. Goku has now arrived to Kami's lookout as he saw Goku and he sensed just how powerful Goku was and from there he told Goku, You're very gifted son, you have no idea just how powerful you are and you'll grow up to be even more stronger. I've been watching you since you're a kid and your power level has grown a hundred times in such short time. Call me impressed. Oh, thanks. I don't know, but I just feel like I am keep getting stronger. I want to do whatever I can to protect my friends in this world. Well, I like that Goku. I have also called you here so I could train you even more. So let's begin the training. As Goku and Kami has now started their training, while that was happening, back on Frieza's world, it was time for Raditz to leave as Vegeta looked at him and said, Don't mess this up Raditz, bring Kakarot back here so we can all work together and take down that bastard Frieza. You got it Vegeta, I first had to complete a mission that Frieza told me to do and from there I'll go make my way towards planet earth. Raditz has left to do his mission and from there, 3 years has passed since Goku went and trained with Kami. Within those 3 years, Goku managed to have a huge boost to his power level as his and Kami's training has come to an end and now it was time for Goku to go and meet with his friends and enter the World Martial Arts Tournament yet again so he can go and stop Piccolo. Once when Goku got to the tournament, everyone was very happy to see Goku again as he reunited with all of his friends. From there, Goku went and fought the first round as his opponent was no one other than Chi Chi. From there he went and easily knocked her out of the arena and from there, Goku continued fighting his way towards the finals while Boma couldn't stop looking at how much Goku has grown and she was really amazed with his power. Goku has now made it to the final and it was time for him to go and fight with Piccolo. Once when he entered, Piccolo went and started to attack Goku with everything he's got while Goku went and easily dodged all of his attack. Piccolo then went and started to strike him non-stop. But he saw that Goku wasn't even phased by his move as he went and kicked Piccolo away. He had a hard time getting up. While that was happening, Goku was busy toying with Piccolo 
as Piccolo got very frustrated and from there he went and powered up intact and threw it towards Goku. But Goku stood still as the blast went and he caught it and he dispersed it with just one hand like if it was nothing. And before you know it, Goku went towards Piccolo and he one shot him down. Piccolo passed out as Goku was announced the winner for the tournament and from there Piccolo was badly hurt as he saw that Goku has come towards him and he offered him a senso bean along with a truce. Piccolo seeing that Goku was way out of his league, he accepted truce and he ate the senso bean and now he went and shook Goku's hand. Bulma ran towards Goku as she hugged him and while Goku felt that he was getting a lot stronger he also felt deep down in his heart that there was no point of training because he has reached the highest state of power. Bulma looked towards Goku and she was about to say something but Goku got distracted as everyone sensed a huge power level coming towards planet earth and it landed far in the south. Goku decided to go and make his way there as Piccolo asked him that he wants to go with him and from there they went and flew towards the south while Bulma went and took her plane and she followed everyone to see their battle. Once when they got there they saw a space spot has crash landed and from there the door opened as they saw a man come out and it was no one other than Radis. Upon his arrival, Radis was surprised to see planet earth and he said, so this is where Kakarot has been living this whole time. And what the, <laughs> looks like some earthling has come here already. Radis used his scouter to see their power level as he saw that Piccolo was hardly over 500 while Goku power levels off the chart. His last recording was over 9000 and said, what the hell? The scouter must be broken! There's no way Kakarot's over 9000! It can't be! Who are you? And why are you here? K Kakarot! It's really you! I'm not Kakarot, my name is Goku, and I ask you again, why are you here? Look, long story short, I'm a Saiyan, my name is Gratis, and you're a Saiyan too, Kakarot! Yes, your name is Kakarot, and also, I'm your brother! <laughs> my brother?! Yeah, Kakarot, you're a Saiyan, and I have come here to get you to come with us. We need your help to beat this tyrant named Frieza. Before Radis can say another word, they saw another space spot has landed right next to them. As a door opened, and from there they saw it was Zarbon. As he came out and said, So this is what you're trying to do this whole time, Radis. I had a suspicious feeling that you might go and attack Lord Frieza behind his back. What? Zarbon, what are you doing here? <laughs> I have overheard your guys' conversation. I knew you guys were scheming something up behind Lord Frieza's back. And from there Vegeta asked you to come to this planet about it some Saiyan. Tell me, did Frieza tell you to follow us? Frieza has no idea about this. I'm gonna kill you guys and bring your head to Lord Frieza as a souvenir. Zarbon went and he powered up as he charged toward Radis and he striked him right in his face while he was fighting. Goku was surprised to see that as he saw that Zarbon and him were going at it and he saw that Zarbon's power level was way high compared to Raditz's power level. Raditz tried to do everything he can to attack Zarbon but he was too strong for him as he went and he began to beat the shit out of him. While he was doing that Goku didn't know what to do as he saw that Raditz was getting his ass beat by Zarbon and before you know it Zarbon went and killed Raditz as he died right there. He then looked towards Goku and said Looks like you're next. I don't know what's going on, but all I know is you need to leave now or else you'll be hurt. Sarban without listening went and he rushed towards Goku as he tried to hit him but Goku went and dodged him and from there he sucker punched him right in the guts causing him to have trouble breathing. Sarban couldn't believe just how powerful that one hit was by Goku as he started to go and attack him but he saw Goku was too fast for him as he went and dodged all of Sarban's attack. From there he became really desperate as he said, you may be strong, but let's see you handle this. Zarbon has now transformed to his final form. <laughs> I'll crush you where you stand. Zarbon went and charged towards Goku as he striked him in his face. Goku flew a couple inches away as he got up and said, <laughs> Is that all you got? If so, it's pathetic. Let me show you how strong I am. 
Seeing that Goku was mocking him got Zarbon really angry. As he started to lose his cool and he went and rushed towards Goku and started to attack him with everything he's got. But he saw that it didn't even phase him. Zarbon then went and powered up a major attack and threw it towards Goku. While Goku went and powered up a Kamehameha wave and aimed it at the blast and it got dispersed. Goku then went and charged towards Zarbon as he managed to block all of his attack. And from there Goku went and decked him across his face. Piccolo was amazed with Goku's power while Goku looked at him and said, let me show you one thing, this is the tip of the iceberg. Goku has now transformed into his Super Saiyan as Zarbon couldn't believe it and from there he saw that Goku has come right next to him and striked him right in his guts and before he can react. Goku went and blasted him away as it pierced through his stomach and he died right there. Everyone couldn't believe just how strong Goku was as he managed to go and beat Zarbon without breaking a sweat and because he was a Saiyan he had his ego where he wanted to go and use his Super Saiyan power just to show off to Zarbon the difference between his power and Zarbon. Bulma ran and hugged Goku as she was worried for Goku and from there she went and confessed her love to him. Goku also confessed his love to her and he asked her if she would marry him. Bulma replied yes and from there, they have now set off towards Bulma's home to prepare for their wedding. And now they got married and from there their honeymoon has begun. While Goku was off with Bulma doing their honeymoon, back on Frieza's planet, Frieza got mad and said, What do you mean? Where's Sarban? He just disappeared out of nowhere. I'm sorry my lord, he last told me about trying to bring someone towards you. I cannot know what, but we lost communication. Are you telling me Zarban's dead? Hmm, who could be that strong enough to kill Zarban? The only one I know are the Ginyu forces. While Frieza was wondering on what happened to Zarban, Vegeta and the other were listening to everything he said as Nappa looked at him and said, So what are we gonna do, Vegeta? What do you think happened to Radis? I don't know. Maybe him and Zarban met and they both killed each other. What if it was Kakra that beat Zarban and Radis? Don't be silly, Nappa! We will wait and see what happens. If Radis doesn't return within the next four years, we will go to planet Earth. What about Frieza? He will notice us gone! Screw him! We will take control this time. They all decide to go and set a course to go within four years to planet Earth. And now five years has passed since Goku got married. During those five years, Goku was relaxing and doing a lot of training. Piccolo came over to Goku's house and he wanted to train with him and from there Goku gained a new sparring partner as him and Piccolo continued training with one another. While that was happening, Goku and Bulma had a child and to keep it from confusing everyone, we're going to name this child Gohan and make him look like Gohan since Goku named him after Grandpa Gohan. Their life was good until one day, Goku was training with Piccolo and while they were doing that, out of nowhere. They sensed two huge power level coming towards Earth as Goku looked towards the power level and said, Hmm? What the hell? Who could that be? I don't know Piccolo, but it seems like we're in trouble. Let's go see what happened. Goku and Piccolo went towards the power level while that was happening. Far in the east where the two power level has landed, it was no one other than Vegeta and Nappa. As they got out of their space pod and from there Nappa said, Well Vegeta, what's the plan? Simple really, we'll use our scouter to pick up the power level and from there we'll go to Kakarot and ask him to see what happened with Radis. and if he's dead, we'll get Kakarot to join us, but if he refuses to, we will kill him together. Let's use our scouter and pick their power level. What the? Someone's power level? It's over 20,000! How? Goku and Piccolo has now arrived to where Vegeta and Nappa were as they saw each other and from there Vegeta said, Well well, if it isn't Kakarot, we have been waiting to meet with you Kakarot. Looking at your tail, I guess you're also a Saiyan just like Raditz. And me. So tell me, what are you doing here? What do you want from me? <laughs> Don't tell me, you're here for vengeance. <laughs> 
don't be silly. We could care less about that weakling Raditz. Although he was your brother, Kakarot, we are here for you. For me? Why? What do you want? We need your power to help us take down Frieza and make me be the ruler of this universe. Let me get this right. You want me to help you to take down this guy Frieza, and once when I do, you're gonna be the ruler of this universe? Did he struggle to ask? Speak! Your prince asks you for your help! And if you refuse, I'll kill you here! What's it gonna be, Kakarot? Here's my option. If you guys value your life, leave this planet and never come back again. <laughs> okay, Kakarot, have it your way. You refuse to help us, it's time for you to die. Goku, let me handle this clown. You can take that porcupine right there. Hey, who are you calling a clown? I'll kill you! As Nappa went and he rushed towards Piccolo and they began attacking each other. While they were fighting, Piccolo was holding his own against Nappa as he went and striked him in his guts. Vegeta looked towards Goku and said, Last chance Kakarot, if you don't want to die, come and join me. <laughs> I would rather choose death than to work with you. That is if he can kill me. As they stared at one another and from there, their battle has now begun. Vegeta went and he rushed towards Goku as he began attacking him but Goku was dodging all of his attack and from there Goku went and punched him right in his face as it caused him to be sent flying meters away and he crashed towards the rocks. Vegeta got up as he was surprised with Goku's power and he said, This can't be! His power rivals even mine! But how? I'm the prince of all Saiyans! What's the matter? Are you done already? Huh? How dare you talk to me like that, Kakarot! You don't even have a clue who I am! Nappa and Piccolo were going at it as they were equally tied and from there, Nappa got mad as he started to throw a lot of blasts towards Piccolo to kill him. But Piccolo went and threw his own blast and it got dispersed and said, How are you able to keep up with me? <laughs> you have no clue, buddy, on who Goku is. I trained with him and that is why I'm this strong. Vegeta got desperate, so he went and powered up a large Gallic gun to aim it towards Goku. It was strong enough to go and not just kill Goku but destroy the planet. While Goku smiled and he went and powered up his own Kamehameha wave and he threw it towards Vegeta's attack. As both of the attack got dispersed, but Goku managed to go and overpower him and he won the wave battle, causing Vegeta to fall towards the ground. Once when Vegeta got up, he was very angry on how Goku was able to overpower him and from there he had an idea on how he can win this battle since Goku didn't have his tail. Vegeta decided to go and use that towards his advantage. He then looked towards Nappa and he saw that Piccolo was starting to overpower him but from there Vegeta went and threw a blast towards Piccolo as it pierced towards his heart and he died. Upon seeing that, Goku got very mad and said, "No!" How dare you kill my friend! You're gonna pay for that, Vegeta! <laughs> you lost this battle, Kakarot! We have a trump card! Nappa! The Blood Wave! As Nappa went and he shined the Blood Wave, and from there both Vegeta and Nappa began to transform. Goku saw them as they were inside their great ape form and from there they tried to do everything they can to intimidate Goku. While Goku was very angry on them killing Piccolo and he looked towards them and said, It's no wonder you guys need me. You guys are very weak. <laughs> Stop talking Kakarot. All you're doing is just saying nonsense. <laughs> you want to see my power? But once when you see it, you won't be able to comprehend it. Vegeta! Let's just kill them! Stop buffing Kakarot! Goku went and he screamed.
Goku has now displayed his true power to Vegeta and Nappa as he has gone and transformed into a Super Saiyan 3. I'm sorry that took much longer than the others. I haven't really used this power that much. <laughs> this is my true power. Upon seeing a Super Saiyan 3 right before them, Vegeta and Nappa didn't know how to react as they couldn't comprehend just the power Goku would display and from there Vegeta said, What? How? What is this power? It doesn't make sense. If I told you, you wouldn't even believe me. Far in the galaxy at the sacred world of the Kai. Whoa, Capito! Do you sense this power coming from planet Earth? It is unbelievable! How can a mortal regenerate that much power? I don't know, but he's very interesting to see. Take a look at the crystal ball. His power is unbelievable. <laughs> Big deal. All you did was just grow your hair longer. As Nappa went and he charged to where Super Saiyan 3 Goku and he tried to crush him, but Goku went and used his key pressure and it hit Nappa and he flew meters away as he crashed towards the rocks. Goku came right next to him and from there he went and pulled his tail out, causing him to go right back to his base and Goku went and threw a light key blast towards Nappa as it hit him head on and he passed out. Kakarot, how can you be this strong? It doesn't make sense! And from there, Goku went and strike Vegeta right in his gut as he had trouble breathing and when he tried to go and attack Goku, Goku was only using 1% of his power as he managed to go and deck him in his face causing Vegeta to fall to the ground and he passed out. Goku then went towards him as he looked towards Vegeta and he went and shined a blast towards his tail as it ripped off and Vegeta went right back to his base. Goku with only using 1% of his power managed to go and put an end towards this battle as he went and beat Vegeta and Nappa like if they were nothing. Vegeta then opened his eyes as he saw that Goku was standing next to him and he said, It's over for you. I'm gonna end you guys here and now. Before he can make the next move, Vegeta yelled and said, Kakarot, wait! Your mother! She's still alive! Frieza has her as a prisoner! What? What do you mean, my mother? Vegeta then passed out. Goku went right back to his base as he was very curious on what Vegeta meant by when he told him that his mother was a prisoner of Frieza. So he decided to go and take Vegeta and Nappa and left right back to his place along with Piccolo's body. Once when they got there, Mr. Popo has already arrived there as he told Goku about the Dragon Balls being gone since Kami has died with Piccolo and therefore, they cannot use the Dragon Balls to wish anyone back. But he also told Goku about a myth that Kami told him before dying, which was that there was a set of Dragon Balls inside his home planet called Planet Namek. Goku had a little bit of hope on hearing that as Gohan came towards him and he told him that he'll be coming with him to Planet Namek to wish Piccolo back. Goku has agreed to take Gohan and from there he went towards Vegeta and Nappa as he gave them a sense of bean and when they ate it, Vegeta woke up as he saw Goku look towards him and he said, Tell me, what did you say about my mother? First you tell me Kakarot, what was that form you used? Hmm? Oh, it's called Super Saiyan 3. What? Super Saiyan 3? <laughs> yeah, right. There's no such thing as a Super Saiyan. How can it be a Super Saiyan 3? And of all the people, why you? I trained for it. I'm a true Saiyan. I guess you couldn't have it because you're not. <laughs> sure, Kakarot. And I'm a kid. You have seen the fight, haven't you? You fought through that power. So if you think I'm bluffing, then think what you want. But tell me what you meant by my mother. I have to get going to Planet Namek. I got some business. Vegeta couldn't comprehend on what he heard about Goku being able to go not just Super Saiyan 1 or 2 but Super Saiyan 3 as he was in shock along with Nappa and from there Boma came and gave Goku the scouter from which Vegeta was using during his battle which she managed to fix and when Vegeta took it he used it and he heard that Frieza has left his planet and he made his way towards another planet called Planet Namek because he heard something about their Dragon Balls and that they can wish for anything they want. Before Goku and Vegeta fought, six months ago, Frieza was trying to find where Goku was until he heard the news that Zarbon has been beaten by a Super Saiyan. After hearing that, Frieza started to fear a bit and so he did what he would never imagine to do and that is, go and train for a couple of months. 
Upon doing so, Frieza was able to go and achieve new power which he was really amazed with and he also made a plan for a little insurance to go to Planet Namek and use a Dragon Ball since he heard that there's a myth about them and he want to wish to become immortal so that he can live forever. Frieza now set a course to Planet Namek while Vegeta asked, What is the Dragon Balls Kakarot? You could say there's some magical ball that gives you the power to wish for whatever you want. That is if you collect all seven Dragon Ball. Are you serious? No way! Yeah, and if Frieza wants that Dragon Ball, I don't know what he's gonna wish for. I think I know what he's gonna wish for. This isn't good. Frieza's gonna wish to become immortal. He wants to live forever. Hmm, I see. And why is that? Because he's scared of you, Kakarot. He heard about you for a very long time. And with your power, I have no doubt you can be Frieza. Let's go to Planet Namek and stop him. They all went and made plans to go to Planet Namek. Since Bulma has got the carnation to where Planet Namek was, and her father managed to build a spaceship, and now they're ready to go. As one week has passed and now it was time for everyone to leave towards Planet Namek. They all entered the spaceship. As they all began to leave, while Vegeta and Nappa told Goku about his mother, how she was with Frieza and he said, If what you're telling me is true, and that she's really my mother, then I will do everything I can to save her. But I'm still surprised, my mother is alive. Once when their spaceship has left planet Earth, Bulma, Gohan, Vegeta, Nappa and Goku were all making their way towards planet Namek, but out of nowhere, someone has come towards their spaceship, as he has appeared out of nowhere and he looked towards Goku and said, Hello Goku. Can I have a word with you, please? Uh, who are you? My name is Shin. I am the Supreme Kai. What? The Supreme Kai? Yes, I am the Supreme Kai. And I'm very interested in meeting with you, Goku. Why don't you come with me to my world? To your world? <laughs> That's awesome that sounds, but I can't. I need to go to Planet Namek and stop Frieza. I know, that's why I'm here. You're going to go and fight with Frieza, but I have a technique that'll help you easily beat him. And besides, it's going to take you guys about four more days to get there. I'll get you back in this ship within four days. Really? You can do that? Awesome! Alright then, let's go! Goku then said goodbye to his friends and told them that he's going to meet them on Planet Namek. Gohan wanted to go with Goku, but Goku told him to help his mother on finding the Dragon Balls and to protect her. Goku went and he left with Supreme Kai as he kai kai Goku towards his world. Once when he got there, Goku was very amazed to see the world and from there Supreme Kai came and gave him the Z Sword and asked him to try to remove it and train with it. Without any pressure, Goku managed to go and pull out the Z Sword as the Supreme Kai was very impressed and from there Goku began training with it. While doing so, Goku managed to go and break the sword, resulting in old Kai coming out. As he came and he looked towards Goku and he thanked him for releasing him. While Goku was there training with the Kai, he realized that their key is completely different compared to his and that he can even barely sense it and he asked him, Why does your key feel so different? It's like way different than mine. That is because, Goku, we are God! What you're trying to sense is God Key! The fact that you could even realize this is very impressive! You got so much potential! I have an idea! Old Kai went and told Supreme Kai and Kaputo Kai to go inside the hyperbolic time chamber with Goku and train with him since he only has one day left before he has to return to his friends. Supreme Kai locked the ideas and he went and took Goku and now they begun training inside the hyperbolic time chamber. Once when they're training, Goku began to learn new techniques and he began to go and absorb and feel the Kai Ki, which allowed him to go and tap into new power if he managed to utilize it to its full extent. During their training inside the hyperbolic time chamber, Goku also picked up a new technique from Supreme Kai called the Kai Kai, which allows him to move to any places he wants. It will get him there in an instant. While Goku was busy training, back on Planet Namek, Gohan and everyone has now arrived. Upon their arrival, Vegeta began to go and sense all the crazy power levels that were out there and he realized that Frieza wasn't alone and that he also brought the Ginyu forces with him to help him find the Dragon Balls. Once when they came out, 
Bulma went and used a Dragon Raider and she saw that someone already had 6 Dragon Balls in their possession and Vegeta said, that's no doubt Frieza, he managed to go and collect all 6 of them, <laughs> this is just great. Well there's still one more, we can go and get it. Bulma went and used her radar and saw that the next Dragon Ball was very close towards them as they all went and made their way towards where the last Dragon Ball was and it was no one other than Guru. He had the last Dragon Ball. As Gohan, Vegeta, Nappa went towards Guru place and when they saw them, Guru then saw Gohan as he asked him for the Dragon Ball and he also realized that Gohan's intentions were very pure and therefore he decided to go and give him the Dragon Ball and also told Dende to go and assist him and help him save planet Namek. Guru also went and unlocked Gohan's potential as he had a huge boost to his power level and from there they went and took the Dragon Ball and left. And before they can get any further, the Ginyu forces has arrived right next to them and asked him to give the Dragon Ball. Gohan refused to do so while Vegeta was worried on how they'll win. Since the Ginyu forces aren't one of the strongest fighters in the universes that are working with Frieza. Ginyu got mad at Gohan and he went and tried to kill him but Gohan went and powered up to fall and threw a Maseko hot towards him as he couldn't hold the blast off and from there Gohan went and started to beat the shit out of Ginyu and before you know it, he managed to go and kill him. Upon seeing that guy Vegeta very shook along with Nappa and they decided to go and help him as Vegeta went to fight with Raccoon and he managed to put him down while Nappa went and he was fighting with Goldo. Gohan went and he continued to help everyone as they all managed to go and take the Ginyu forces down. Thanks to Gohan having his potential unlocked, he got a new power which helped him go and defeat the Ginyu forces but at the cost of them being very fatigued. They all went and made their way back to Boma, but they didn't have much power left within them. Frieza on the other hand was getting angry as he noticed that the Ginyu forces hasn't arrived back yet and he started to get pissed off. Vegeta and everyone decided to go to the final destination where the Dragon Balls were and that is no one other than Frieza's place. Before leaving, then they went and healed everyone which gave them a boost to their power level due to the fact that their science, they all had a Zankai boost and now they made their way towards Frieza. Vegeta has arrived as he screamed out and said, Frieza, come out you coward, it's time we put you down. <laughs> if it isn't Vegeta, what are you doing here? Oh, I see Nappa has also come, how lovely, all of you guys have come to witness me becoming immortal. <laughs> you fool Frieza. We are here to put you down. Frieza went and he called Gine to come out. As she was all chained up and when she came out, she saw Gohan as she started to wonder who he was and she also noticed that Raditz wasn't there. Vegeta then said, You're a fool Frieza. We haven't come alone. We have come prepared. I see you brought a child to help you. <laughs> How pathetic of a monkey. <laughs> You're a fool Frieza. That is no ordinary child. He is the son of Kakarot. Upon hearing that, Gine got very shocked as she couldn't believe that her grandchild was standing right before her. While that was happening, Goku has now finished his training as he come out of the hyperbolic time chamber and from there, Supreme Kai went and gave him a bag of senso bean. Goku thanked him, while Supreme Kai looked towards him and said, This is it Goku, it is time for you to use your power and see how strong you have become now. Thank you so much Supreme Kai. I really owe you guys big time, and because of you I was able to push myself to get this new power. Hurry up Goku, your friends are about to fight with Frieza. What? No way! Alright I got to get going, I'll see you guys soon, thanks again Supreme Kai. Goku went and he Kai Kai to Planet Namek. While that was happening, Frieza went and punched Vegeta right in the face, while Gohan got mad and he ran towards Frieza and striked him, but Frieza managed to dodge it as he looked towards him and said, I have been waiting for a challenge, let's end this. <laughs> Frieza went and he transformed to his final form. Nappa and Vegeta were very shocked as they couldn't believe just how strong Frieza has gotten while Gine was very scared of seeing Frieza's power. Frieza went and one shot Nappa down. Gohan was about to attack but before he can, 
Frieza went and powered up a death beam and he aimed it towards Gohan. Before it could hit him, Goku has appeared right in front of it as he managed to go and disperse the death beam and upon seeing that everyone saw that Goku has arrived. <laughs> of course Kakarot will come right now, always need a grand entrance. What am I sensing? What am I seeing? Is that really my Kakarot? I take it you're Frieza, the one that's responsible for the horrible chain of event that occurred on this planet. <laughs> that is me, and who are you? Don't tell me you're a monkey like them. You're a fool, Frieza. This is my son, Kakarot. He is the one that blocked your attack back on planet Vegeta. Oh, really? Well, I have been looking for you, monkey. I even kept your mother alive just for this moment, so she can witness me killing you and her. My mother? As Goku looked towards Gine and said to himself, So that's my mom. <clears throat> Frieza, leave everyone out of this. This is between you and me. <laughs> After all, you were looking for me the whole time, weren't you? Well, this is your chance now, Frieza. Show me how strong you are. <laughs> You're a fool. I have been training for this very first time of my life, just so I can kill you. And now you'll see what Frieza's made out of. Frieza went and rushed towards Goku and striked him. But Goku did the same as both of them went and they flew towards the rock. But when they got up, they went and rushed at each other and they started to attack each other. Upon seeing that they were tied, Frieza smiled and said, Well, monkey, why don't you use more power? Or is this all you got? If so, let me show you what I got from my training alone. Frieza has now transformed into his golden form. Everyone senses how powerful he was as the whole planet started to shake while the Z fires were shaking in fear. Goku smiled and said, <laughs> Let's see what you got, Frieza. <laughs> Goku has transformed into his Super Saiyan 3 as him and Frieza stared at each other and before you know it, their battle has begun. Frieza and Goku rushed towards each other as their power clashed with one another but from there Frieza went and striked him in his face as he got sent flying. Frieza followed and he went and kicked Goku in the back and from there he fell with a lot of pressure. Goku got up and said, You're good, no doubt about that Frieza. <laughs> what did you expect monkey? I did train for 6 months. Now it's time for you to die here. After that, I'll kill your mother and the rest of the monkeys. <laughs> I would be worried if I didn't have more power up my sleeve. What? What do you mean? <laughs> Let me show you, Frieza, my true power. <laughs> Goku has now transformed into something called Super Saiyan God. Since he was training with the Kai, he was able to feel and pick up their key as he managed to go and use it upon himself and now Goku was able to go and tap into God Key and because of that, he was able to go and transform into a Super Saiyan God due to the fact that his potential allowed him to achieve power much quicker compared to any other. Upon seeing that, Frieza and everyone else were completely confused as they couldn't believe what they were seeing while Frieza said, What? What is this? This? <laughs> well, I guess you can say I have tapped into something called God Key and now this is the power of a Super Saiyan God. Now let's see what you got, Frieza. <laughs> it still will be the same, monkey. You will lose. Before he can finish his sentence, Goku went and decked him in his face as Frieza got sent flying meters away. He then landed on the ocean while Goku went towards Frieza and from there Frieza rushed out of the water and started to attack Goku non-stop. But Goku dodged all of his attack like if there were nothing. Frieza was getting very angry seeing that how could Goku overpower him so much and said, 
This doesn't make sense! How can a monkey do this? Hmm, <laughs> I told you, Frieza. I have been training for a long time, unlike you. Uh, you're just a monkey! <laughs> and you're just a wannabe lolly! How dare you say- Before he can finish his sentence, he got punched in the back by Goku, while Goku followed him and he started to beat the shit out of Frieza. Frieza was completely powerless against Goku. While he was using 100% of his power, Goku was barely using only 5%, as he managed to go and easily overpower Frieza in his golden form, and from there Frieza got desperate, so he went and powered up a massive blast to go and destroy the entire planet. While Goku smiled and went and powered up his own Kamehameha wave, and he aimed it at Frieza's wave, as his attack got dispersed and he got hit by Goku's Kamehameha wave. Frieza went right back to his regular form, as he passed out and he didn't stand a chance against Goku's Super Saiyan God power. Goku went towards Frieza, as he powered up a blast to finish him off, but Frieza looked towards him and said, Let's see what you got, do it then! Goku has now defeated Frieza with his new Super Saiyan God power as he looked at Frieza and he powered up a blast to kill him while Frieza looked towards him and said, Do it monkey! Let's see what you got! I have a better idea. Goku went and one shot Frieza to the ground as he passed out. From there Vegeta got mad and said, Don't be a fool Kakarot! He's not going to change! He'll just continue to repeat his cycle! You need to put an end to him right now, Kakarot! He's right, Kakarot! Frieza doesn't deserve to live! Don't worry, guys. I have a better idea. We can use the Dragon Balls to make Frieza a pure-hearted man. Just imagine the potential he would have. And on top of that, I'll have a great sparring partner to get stronger with. That would be amazing! I believe in you, son. Mom, I don't know how to react knowing that you're my mother. But I do have this warm feeling in my heart. I'm glad to finally meet you. As Gine went towards Goku and she hugged him. From there, Gohan came as she also hugged Gohan and Goku told her who Gohan was. Boma also came as she was there and now they had a big family reunion. While they're all happy, Gine asked Goku about what happened with Raditz, but Goku told her that Raditz came and he tried to kill Goku, but before he can, he got killed by Frieza's man. Gine was upset with Raditz trying to kill Goku and also was sad hearing that he died and she asked Goku if she can bring him back with the Dragon Balls. Goku agreed to do so and from there they all went and summoned Parunga. Once when they did, Goku told Dende to go and use the first wish to bring back Piccolo. Upon doing so, having Piccolo alive means Kami came back along with the Dragon Balls. Goku then told Dende to use the second wish to bring Raditz back as he did and now the final wish was to make Frieza a pure hearted man. Then they did it and now Parunga has left while Goku looked towards Frieza and he went and gave him a senso bean. Upon eating that Frieza looked towards Goku and said, Wow, did you save me mister? <laughs> Whoa, what is up with this mister stuff? Just call me Goku. And yet Frieza I did, how like you to come to my planet and fight for justice? <laughs> I would love to do nothing but that. Sounds like a good plan, let's do it Goku! Everyone couldn't believe what they are seeing, as they saw a pure hearted Frieza right before them, and from there Goku said his goodbye to everyone, as Vegeta and Nappa wanted to come along with them since they didn't have another place to go. Goku went and he kai kai everyone right back to planet earth. Once when they got there, they all sensed that Piccolo and Raditz were fighting with one another, as Piccolo had the upper hand and he went and threw Raditz down as he was about to kill him but before he can, Goku and everyone has Kai Kai right next to Piccolo and Goku said, Piccolo don't! <laughs> Goku! <laughs> it's good to see you my friend! <laughs> Likewise Piccolo! <laughs> now about your brother, how come he's alive? Huh? Kakarot! Wow! You changed so much! M mother! What is she doing here? Once when Raditz saw Gine, he ran towards her and hugged her as she told Raditz everything that happened on Namek and that Goku managed to beat Frieza and made him a pure hearted man. Raditz was surprised to hear that as he saw Frieza standing next towards him and from there he went over to Goku and shook his hand and said, 
I'm glad we're on the same side now, Kakarot. Me too, big brother. <laughs> As they shook each other's hand, Frieza was happy to see everything end from there. Everyone still felt weird having Frieza around, but at the same time, they knew that he was not the same guy since the Dragon Balls did wish to make him completely different. Frieza was also surprised to see just how beautiful planet Earth looked and all and they all decided to go to Goku's place to celebrate. But before they can leave, Goku saw that one spaceship has arrived to planet Earth as the time machine was right next to them and when the door opened, they saw a young man come right before them as he looked towards Goku and Goku said, Hmm? You look very familiar! Who are you? Hey man, if it's okay with you, can we talk in private? Goku has agreed as they went over to the corner and from there, he said, It is so good to see you, Dad. But what? G Gohan? Is that you? But how? Right here, you're right over there. Father, please calm down. And yes, it's me. I have come from the future. The future? But how, son? Mom made this time machine right next to me. She sent me here to save your life. Everyone in our timeline has died, father. Everyone. They have been killed by this deadly android. There was no one left except for me. And my job was here to help you survive, father, since you died by the heart virus. Darn it! I died by this virus and therefore everyone else has died too? Hmm. <sighs> so what do we do now, Gohan? Take this, father. This is the antidote for your heart virus. You must take it now, father. That way you won't be affected by the heart virus. Please, father, save us and this future. As Gohan hugged Goku and from there he has left right back to his time. Goku was very confused and very serious as he knew that he had to do everything he can to go and save the future timeline. He then went towards the Z fighters and told them what Gohan told them and from there he left out the part that it was Gohan but he told everyone that they have to train because in 3 years from now, killer androids will come and kill everyone that are there. Everyone decided to go and train, while Raditz, Gine, Nappa along with Vegeta were living at Goku at his home until one day they had a party and from there Vegeta saw Chi Chi as they had a connection while Goku went and continued to stress about what's going to happen but from there Supreme Kai has come right before him as he was also invited to the party and now they were having a good time while Goku told Supreme Kai everything about what happened and what the future timeline holds for him. Upon hearing so, Supreme Kai got a bit worried but he then told Goku, I think I know what I can do to help you Goku. You should go and train with this Kai. His name is King Kai. He could train you and make you have some new moves. King Kai? Alright, sounds interesting, let's go. As Supreme Kai went and he Kai Kai Goku over to King Kai's planet. Once when they got there, he then told King Kai about everything and who Goku is and now Goku's training has begun with King Kai. While Goku asked Supreme Kai to go and take Gohan and Pickle to his world and train with them and help them get stronger until he's done training with King Kai. Supreme Kai has agreed with Goku as he went and took Gohan and Piccolo and they begun training with him. While Frieza, Vegeta, Nappa and Raditz decide to go and train together. From there Goku has come back as he has spent over one year training with King Kai. And now he continued training Piccolo and Gohan. And before you know it, three years has passed. And now the time for the androids has arrived. The Z Fighters has all got together and now they all went and made their way towards West City. Once when they got there, they saw that Raditz, Vegeta and Nappa along with Frieza were already there as everyone was ready and waiting for the androids to make a move. And before they know it, they heard a loud explosion coming from the city as everyone has won and made their way towards them and while they were going, they sense a very huge power level coming as they also sense Goku's power. Vegeta's power, Frieza, Gohan, Piccolo and everyone else's and they were very confused on what's going on. Once when they got there, they saw that 5 androids were standing there and one of them looked towards Goku and said, Hmm, if it isn't Goku. <laughs> We've been waiting for you Goku. Whoa, the guy's power is crazy. And I take it you guys are the androids. Ah, so you know who we are. Yes. My name is Cell. I have been created with the sole purpose of killing you. You have brought this on yourself, Goku. And this will be the end for you. Killing you will bring us satisfaction. <laughs> oh please, 
You don't even stand a chance against me. What makes you think you can kill Goku? <laughs> you guys are all dogs. Let's see what you got. Why are you doing this? It is because you have destroyed the Red Ribbon Army. And for that, I have done nothing but plan my revenge on you. I have followed you for your entire life, and I managed to go and get all of your guys' DNA, even Frieza's power, and made it into Cell. As you can see, Cell has your guys' power. But I must say, Goku, thank you for giving Cell such amazing power boost. My DNA? <laughs> okay, sure, buddy. Whatever you want to think. You may think you know everything about me, but really, you don't even have a clue. Let's show them our power, what do you say, Goku? Goku and everyone else has transformed into their transformation while Cell looked towards Goku and he powered up to full and they sensed just how powerful he was and from there their battle has begun. Goku went and he rushed towards Cell as he striked him in his face but he saw that Cell managed to go and quickly respond and punched him in its guts causing Goku pain and he was surprised to see that someone was strong enough to even touch him. While that was happening, Android 17 was fighting with Frieza as Golden Frieza did everything he can to hold his own with him and they are going head to head. He was impressed to see that how 17 was able to hold his own against him. Piccolo went and he fought with Dr. Jiro, while Vegeta went to fight with 19 along with Nappa, while Gohan and Raditz went and they started to fight Android 18. All of them were holding their own against each other, but Android 18 was struggling to fight with Gohan due to the fact that Gohan has benefited a lot during the three years of his training with his father. Cell and Goku were going at it, while Goku said, You're good Cell, but I got more power up my sleeve. Goku went and kicked Cell in the gut as he started to overpower him. Upon seeing that Goku was overpowering Cell, he didn't want to lose the battle so he went and quickly grabbed Android 17 without him noticing and he absorbed him as he has now become semi-perfect Cell. <laughs> now Goku, come and fight me in this state. What? His power has increased so much just by absorbing that android. Be careful Goku. As Cell went and kicked Goku in his guts and he flew towards the rocks. Frieza saw that as he went and he rushed towards Cell and striked him in his face. But Cell went and took his hand and twisted it as he punched Frieza in his stomach and he started to attack him. Goku got up as he was impressed with Cell's power and he went and screamed. <laughs> Goku has now transformed into a Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan, also known as Super Saiyan Blue. As everyone was surprised to see Goku's power but they couldn't sense it while Vegeta saw and said, What is this? He's all blue! <laughs> I have reached the next stage of Super Saiyan God. I guess you can say, this is Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan, but in short I like to call it Super Saiyan Blue. Cell was very intimidated by Goku's power, but he went and rushed towards Goku and tried to attack him. Goku went and kicked him hard in his face as he flew towards the rocks and his arm broke and said, How are you this strong? <laughs> You're surprised by this power? Well, wait until you see my true power. I got more power than what you think. <laughs> You're right. You're bluffing. Well then, let me show you something. Goku went and used the Kaioken times 2 with his Super Saiyan Blue 
as his power skyrocketed while Cell was very scared. Goku has now tapped in to his Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken as his power has skyrocketed and from there Goku said, It's time I put you down Cell. Cell went and he powered up a massive attack as he threw it towards Goku but he saw that Goku's aura managed to go and disperse the attack. Upon seeing that Cell got very scared but before he can do anything, Goku was about to go and attack him but out of nowhere, Android 19 has come and grabbed onto Goku as he went and powered up his key and he managed to go and hit Android 19 causing him to go and explode into pieces. But before Goku can react, Cell went and he used the solar flare as he got everyone blind. From there they begun to hear someone screaming as they said Cell's power has increased massively and once when the smoke clear, they have seen Cell has looked completely different. Cell went and he absorbed Andre 18 as he has now become perfect. Everyone says just how powerful Cell has become as they all begun to shake in fear while Cell went and looked at his hand as he was impressed with his power and he said, Finally, I have achieved this perfect form. What? His power has increased massively. Good to see you're getting the hang of it, Frieza. You can pick people's power level. No doubt it has increased massively. I must say, Cell, this is a big turn of event, but I'm not worried. <laughs> oh Goku, good to see you're not scared of my power, let's see just how strong you are, come and show me what you got. Before he can finish his sentence, Frieza went and he striked him with a full power, but Cell went and he managed to brush it off as he kicked Frieza right in his face and he landed towards the rock. Whoa, he took Frieza's hit like it was nothing. <laughs> this guy is something else. Out of nowhere, Cell has appeared right before Goku as he went and threw a punch towards him and from there their battle has begun. Goku got up as he rushed towards Cell and both of them were going at it as they were landing blow to blow. Goku smiled and said, Not bad Cell, you might actually turn out to be a challenge after all. <laughs> I'm just getting warmed up Goku, do you want to see why I'm so strong? Let's take this to the next level. The next level? You're talking like you have another transformation or something. Have you forgotten Goku? I have yours and Frieza cell within me. Now let's stop the warm up and go straight into action. Cell has transformed into his golden form as he looked at Goku and said, Shocked to see this power, Goku? You can call this Golden Cell. <laughs> what a rip up from my form. <laughs> it's far stronger than your form, Frieza, especially since it has Goku's DNA. Wow, he's not bluffing. But I got way more power within me, Cell. <laughs> Goku has powered up his Kaioken as he used Kaioken times 10 and he rushed towards Cell and he began attacking him. Both of them were going at it as they were landing blow to blow with each other while the entire arena and the earth was shaking. Far in the galaxy, Beer is a destroyer world where a destroyer is sleeping in his slumber. Whis his attendant has sensed everything as he was watching through his staff and said, Hmm, not bad at all. This Saiyan is completely different. He managed to go and get God Key and went beyond that all by himself. I'm very impressed. He will even overpower Beerus in no time. Cell went and he kicked Goku right in the guts as he flew towards the rock. But Goku saw that Cell rushed towards him and he started to throw a blast towards him. Goku managed to dodge it and said, Whoa, his power is increasing massively. It's like if he's getting stronger without even trying. Before Goku can react, Cell used his speed as he came right behind Goku and he one-shot him towards the ground as he passed out. 
Upon seeing that, everyone got very worried as they couldn't believe what they were seeing. Frieza stepped in and he rushed towards Cell as he striked him in his face but Cell retaliated and he kicked him in his back. Oh, if only I trained during those three years, I could have kicked his ass! <laughs> it's too bad you're a lazy she -male. Now die! Cell went and threw a Kamehameha wave at Frieza as he was trying to hold it off but from there Gohan managed to go and kick it away as he looked towards Cell and said, I have had enough of you Cell, I'll put an end to you myself. <sighs> Thanks Gohan, I owe you big time for that. <laughs> what can a child do? Sit down boy. I'll show you what I got, what I have learned thanks to my dad and the Supreme Kai. Gohan has now transformed into his mystic form. Since the old Kai has unlocked his potential over the years, he was able to go and tap into this new form known as Mystic Gohan. Cell smiled and said, Your power level has increased big time. I can see you're stronger than even Goku. Gohan went and kicked Cell right in the face as he flew meters away. Cell got up and from there he began to laugh and said, Yes Gohan! That's it! I would like to see what you made out of! Gohan went and rushed towards Cell and he began attacking him while Cell took a beating from Gohan. Gohan then went and threw a massive Kamehameha wave towards Cell as it cut his body in half and from there he went and threw another blast towards the rest of his body as it got sent flying towards outer space. Everyone couldn't believe what they were seeing as Gohan managed to go and put an end towards Cell just before they can all go and celebrate. Cell has appeared right before them as his power has increased massively and thanks to Piccolo's DNA, he managed to go and regenerate as he looked towards Gohan and said, It's time I stopped toying with you. Cell went and decked Gohan in his face as he got sent flying towards the rock and from there Cell went and threw a blast towards him as it hit him head on and he passed out. Before he can make the next move, Goku was already up as he was watching the battle and Cell looked at him and he said, <laughs> I'm impressed Cell, I can see why everyone dies by you. What are you talking about Goku? My son did a good job, but now I'll have to put an end to you. Let me use my full power. Goku has now transformed into a Super Saiyan Blue 2. During his 3 year of training, he managed to achieve new heights and new power as he was able to go and push beyond what his limit was and now he was able to go and transform into a Super Saiyan Blue 2. Cell couldn't believe what he was seeing as Goku stood before him and he said, What the? What is this power? Oh this? This is my true power Cell. I had this within me all along, I just didn't use it due to my bad habit of toying with my opponent. It's time I put an end towards you and save my planet. <laughs> you witch go! Before he can end his sentence, Goku came right in front of him and striked him in his face as he got sent flying across the world. Goku followed as he went and he kicked Cell from his back and from there he went and started to beat the shit out of Cell. Cell was getting very angry that Goku was overpowering him and from there he said, how is your power increasing so much? It doesn't make sense! I already told you Cell, what you're seeing before was barely half of my power and now you're seeing the full power of me. I'll end you Goku! Cell went and he powered up to 100% and he began attacking Goku non-stop but Goku dodged each and every one of his attack. He then got desperate so he went and powered up a massive Kamehameha wave and he threw it towards Goku. As Goku went and used one hand and he cut the Kamehameha wave in half. Upon seeing that everyone got completely surprised including Cell as he couldn't believe what he was seeing and he began to feel a little bit of fear. Goku walked towards Cell. While he was doing that, Cell went and threw every attack he knew but it didn't even phase Goku as he kept walking and said, 
How sad. It looks like you have lost the will to fight me, Cell. You won't be able to say that after this! Cell went and he charged towards Goku as he put everything he had towards his fist so he can hit him but before he can do that, Goku went and caught his fist and said, too bad you're so slow for me Cell. And he went and landed three decisive blow on Cell's stomach as it caused him to go and puke out Android 18 and 17 and he reverted right back to his base. Goku went and powered up a one hand Kamehameha wave and aimed it towards Cell as it killed him where he stood and now the war was over. Goku with his new Super Saiyan 2 blue power, he managed to prove that he is far stronger from what Cell could have handled and with the power of Super Saiyan 2 blue, Goku managed to go and put an end towards Cell. He went towards Gohan and hugged him as he told him that he was proud with him and from there they all went to Goku's place to celebrate as everyone was amazed with Goku's new power and now Vegeta and Frieza has come towards Goku and asked him if he can train them to get stronger. Goku has agreed to do so along with Gohan and Piccolo and said, well then guys, let's begin our training session now. While that was happening, back inside Beerus world, Whis was keeping an eye on Goku as he was very impressed with his power and from there Beerus has woken up as he was able to sense Goku's power. Whis came towards him and Beerus looked at him and he said, Whis, what is this power I'm sensing? Hmm, I see you have woken 7 years earlier my lord. I honestly thought you'll be sleeping in. How can I sleep in, Whis, when I sense this amazing power? Who is it? About that, my lord. This power that you've been sensing is coming from no one other than a Saiyan who was born very special. What? A Saiyan? And special like how? Well, according to this info I have, he's able to reach new height at a much quicker pace than regular mortal and from his new power, he can easily beat you, Lord Beerus. Is that so? Well, what I prophesied has come true, that I'll be fighting my arch nemesis, but he's able to beat me now? That means I need to get stronger. Wheeze, I need you to train me, so I can get stronger over the seven years and I'll challenge this Saiyan. As you wish, my lord, we can begin the training now. Seven years has passed since Goku killed Cell. Within those seven years, everyone wanted to go and train so that they can be on par with each other. During those seven years, Vegeta had a child with Chi Chi and since we're trying to stick with the canon so it doesn't confuse everyone, they named that child Trunks. Vegeta wouldn't let Goku go ahead of him as he wanted to do everything he can to go and transform into a Super Saiyan God and therefore he got very desperate. So he went and used the Dragon Balls and asked on how he can become a Super Saiyan God. Upon hearing that he needs 5 pure hearted Saiyans, Vegeta then asked Goku if he can help him and Goku, Gine, Gohan, Raditz and Nappa all agreed to help Vegeta so he can have a taste of God Ki and from there they went and poured their energy into Vegeta as he has now transformed into a Super Saiyan God and he tried to do everything he can to utilize that power as he was very determined to get stronger and be on par with Goku and Frieza. When it came to Gohan, Gohan did a lot of training here and there because he was able to get a lot stronger due to the fact that Bulma wouldn't have any issue with him doing any education stuff, she actually admired the fact that Gohan wanted to be as strong as his father. While he was training, Gohan has also met a girl named Videl in his city and that's how the relationship has kicked up. Goku in the other hand had a child with Bulma and they named this child Goten while him and Frieza continue training trying to do everything they can to be stronger. One peaceful day Goku was at his home while Supreme Kai has Kai Kai right before him and from there he then said, Hey Goku, I need to talk to you about two things. <laughs> hey Supreme Kai, what's up? Well the first news which isn't much of a threat is I finally got a location of where Majin Buu is. You know the evil tyrant wizard who managed to go and kill all the past Kais? Due to his master Bobbity, I know where they are, I found their spaceship. I need you to go and end him Goku. <laughs> sure, I'll take care of that. And what's the second news? I'll tell you that after you complete this one. Don't be alarmed Kai, we will go and easily beat him. <laughs> Especially if Kakarot and Freeze are involved, this will be a piece of cake. 
Goku and Vegeta, along with the rest of the Z fighters gathered together and now they went and made their way towards where Majin Buu was. Thanks to Supreme Kai guiding them, they have arrived towards Bobbidi's spaceship. Once when they got there, they saw that Bobbidi's ship was buried halfway in the ground and from there Vegeta went and he bust open the door. Upon seeing that, all of Bobbidi's men has come out to fight them. Gohan told the rest to go on as he went and started to fight with Deborah and he was handling very easily while Goku and Vegeta along with the rest of the Saiyans were looking for where Bobbidi was and they all decided to go and separate. Goku and Frieza went towards a room and when they opened it, they have stumbled across Bobbidi as they saw that Bobbidi was right there. Supreme Kai asked him where Majin Buu was but Bobbidi didn't say anything as he saw that he needed more power to resurrect Majin Buu and because of that, Bobbidi decided to go and use his magic to control Frieza. Since he had no other option because he needed Majin Buu to be resurrected by having Frieza to go and become Majin Frieza and fight the rest of the Z fighters. Upon doing so, Frieza began to transform as his inner evil demons has come out and he began to scream and before you know it, he has become Majin Frieza. <laughs> wow, so this is what it feels like to be like my old self again, huh? Which monkey wants to die first? Frieza, I haven't heard you ever call us that word over 10 years. Would you like to die first, monkey? By all means, come on and bring it on. Frieza has transformed into his platinum form. Frieza was able to achieve this power over the past 7 years training with Goku as he looked towards him and said, Now I'll kill you where you stand. Don't fight him Goku, that's exactly what Bobbidi wants. How's this? If you don't fight me monkey, I'll destroy this entire universe. I have no choice. Gohan, go with the Supreme Kai and Vegeta and stop Majin Buu. I'll deal with Frieza. Bring it on, monkey. <laughs> As you wish, you she-male. <laughs> Goku went and he transformed into a Super Saiyan Blue 2. And from there, their battle has now begun. While they went and charged at each other and their power crashed with one another, they were giving out a lot of energy by attacking one another, which was helping Majin Buu to come out of his egg as his shell started to glow a lot. And before you know it, Majin Buu has come out of his egg. Everyone sensed his power while Gohan and Vegeta smiled and said, hmm, This will be a piece of cake. What do you say, Vegeta? Let me handle him. I want to pobolize this fool. Vegeta went towards Majin Buu as he striked him and he started to attack him non-stop. Buu was getting beat up by Vegeta as he couldn't believe that Vegeta was this strong and from there Vegeta began to go and power up a blast to kill Majin Buu. But before he can, Majin Buu went and he began to blow a lot of steam, causing Evil Buu to come out. From there, Evil Buu and Majin Buu looked at each other as they didn't like one another and they wanted to have dominance over the others and from there they began fighting one another. While they were fighting, Goku and Frieza were going at it as they were landing blow to blow and from there Frieza went and striked Goku in his stomach as he smiled and said, <laughs> Looks like your training really paid off Frieza, you managed to get a lot stronger, but yet, so have I. <laughs> you wish monkey, I'm still stronger than you. <laughs> Whatever makes you happy lolly. Goku went and he continued to attack Frieza. While they were fighting, Evil Buu managed to go and repel Majin Buu's attack which he tried to use to turn him into chocolate and from there Majin Buu has become chocolate and before you know it, Evil Buu went and ate him as he has transformed into Super Buu. Vegeta was in phase by it as Nappa and Raditz along with Piccolo all wanted to go and end Majin Buu. Vegeta wanted to show off his power as he went and he screamed and he has now transformed into his Super Saiyan God. And from there he went and rushed towards Majin Buu as he striked him in his face while Piccolo, Nappa and Raditz went and threw an attack towards Majin Buu and his body got exploded. But from there he had an idea 
as Vegeta went towards Majin Buu while powering up his Big Bang attack from the other hand and before he can release it, Vegeta heard that Majin Buu begun to laugh and said, You have lost this battle. Is that so? And what makes you think I lost this, you fool? Vegeta heard everyone was screaming as he turned around and he saw that Piccolo, Nappa and Gohan along with Raditz were being covered by Buu's goo and before you know it, he went and absorbed them. <laughs> well, now let's see if you can handle this. <laughs> you bastard! Whoa, Frieza! You sense that? <laughs> it would appear Majin Buu finally increased his power massively. Goku noticed that Frieza was back to his normal self. And from there, Goku and Frieza decide to go and stop Majin Buu. But before he can, Frieza went and decked Goku from the back. As he dropped his guard and when he got hit, he passed out. Once when Goku passed out, Frieza went towards the battlefield alone. While Vegeta was losing towards Super Buu. Vegeta went and powered up an attack and tried to throw it towards him, but Super Buu easily dodged the attack as he went and strike Vegeta in his back and started to attack him. Before Super Buu can go and kill Vegeta, Frieza went and threw a blast towards him and said, You bastard, you're gonna have to go through me before you touch Vegeta. <laughs> if it isn't the Shemail, show me what your power is. Frieza and Buu rush at each other as their power clashed with one another and they were going at it. Frieza was overpowering Boo and he said, How are you this strong? I'll kill you where you stand, you pink glove! Before Frieza can finish his sentence, he saw that Vegeta was screaming as Majibu managed to go and cover him with his goo and now he went and absorbed Vegeta, allowing his power to grow massively. Upon seeing that, Frieza got really angry, but Majibu went towards him and he started to have the upper hand as he began to go and beat the shit out of Frieza. Frieza saw that there was no way out and from there, the only way to win was to go and kill Majin Buu and himself. As Frieza went and grabbed onto Majin Buu and his body began to glow while he was releasing a lot of energy and before you know it, Frieza looked towards the earth and said, I'm doing this for my planet, for my friends, and even for you Goku. As Frieza went and he blew himself up, allowing Majin Buu to die with him, Goku woke up as he sensed what happened and from there he went and kai kai towards the battlefield and saw that Frieza's remain was there but it disappeared into ashes. But Majin Buu began to go and regenerate himself as Frieza has failed to put an end towards him. Goku was very upset that Frieza made his decision but Majin Buu came back and said, Ah, if it isn't Goku, all of your friends are blaming you for letting me kill them. Mm, that won't work on me, Buu. Darn it, Frieza! Why did you go and kill yourself? I would have ended myself. <laughs> did I hear that right? Did you say you could end me? <laughs> Let me show you then. During my fight with Frieza, I still didn't go all out. Kyo! Goku went and used Kaioken times 5 with his Super Saiyan Blue 2. As Buu went and rushed towards Goku and he tried to strike him, but Goku went and decked him in his guts, allowing Buu to go fall towards the ground and when he tried to gasp for air, Goku went and kicked him in his face and he flew towards the rocks. Once when he got up, he saw that Goku has come right next to him, as Goku's Kaioken was overwhelming Buu and from there he said, How are you able to do this to me? I have 4 Saiyans! including a Namekian within me. <laughs> it's because I'm far stronger than them. When it comes down to it, it's all about quality, not quantity, my friend. Upon hearing that got Majin Buu very angry as he went and he started to attack Goku very recklessly. But before he can make the next move, Goku went and uppercut him as he got sent flying towards the air. And from there, he saw that Goku was already behind him as Goku went and one shot him towards the ground. Majin Buu fell. As he began to be in pain and he knew that he lost his battle but he began laughing as his goo went and started to surround Goku's body. Goku saw that as he went and surrounded his body with a force shield and from there he went inside Majin Buu's stomach. Once when Goku got there, he then went and looked for where Vegeta and the rest were 
as he found him and when he released him from Majin Buu. Majin Buu began to scream as he was reverting right back to his original form, which was Kid Buu. Goku went and kai kai everyone outside of Majin Buu's stomach as they have all grown right back to their size and they saw that Kid Buu was right before them. As he looked towards Goku and he went and tried to destroy the earth by unleashing a dangerous attack. But from there, Goku went and powered up a one hand Kamehameha wave and threw it towards Majin Buu as it hit him and he died right there. The battle was over as Goku managed to go and save everyone that was there and even save planet earth. While Goku was inside Super Buu's stomach, Goku managed to go and release Majin Buu as Super Buu has become right back to his original self and from there, Goku offered Majin Buu truce and to be friends with him. Upon hearing that, Majin Buu agreed to be friends with Goku since he was very innocent and childish and now he has become one of the Z fighters. Goku went and used the Dragon Balls as he wished for Frieza to come back to life. Upon doing so, Frieza was amazed with Goku, while Goku was amazed with his action that he was able to go and sacrifice himself for planet Earth. From there, Supreme Kai has come as he congratulated everyone and from there he told Goku that he was very proud and now he said, well Goku now that you managed to do this, one danger's gone but the other danger's coming. Yeah right, about that. So what is it you gotta tell me Supreme Kai? Listen up Goku, far in the galaxy there's a destroyer. He's a destroyer god, his name is Beerus the Destroyer. He has been awake for the past 7 years training, just so he can beat you. Beerus the Destroyer. Hmm. Yes Goku, he's very dangerous and that's why I told you to take precaution, he'll be coming anytime soon. Far in the galaxy at Beerus' world, Weez has now finished training Beerus, while Beerus was now relaxing and from there he said, Weez, do you think with his new training, am I stronger than the Saiyan? Well, according to my calculations, my lord, you are far stronger than him. Hmm. Good, that's what I want to hear. Now, Weez, let me enjoy this food and we'll leave towards planet Earth. I want to meet that Saiyan. As Weez and Beerus have now left towards planet Earth. While they were making their way back on Earth, couple of weeks has passed since Goku and the Z fighters have beaten Majin Buu and they all continue to live their life and enjoy and train while Goku was doing everything he can to prepare to fight with Beerus the Destroyer. But today was a day for everyone to go over to Goku's place since it was his wife Boma's birthday. They all went there and they began celebrating. All the Z fighters along with other friends have come to Goku's house, even the Supreme Kai has come as they are all enjoying their party and out of nowhere. While everyone was relaxing, Supreme Kai looked towards the sky as he had a very worried face but at the same time, Goku looked up and said, he's almost here, I could sense him, so that's how his power feels like, amazing. Yes you're right Goku, he's arriving very soon, but I must warn you, he has gotten way stronger from the last time I remembered him. It's crazy! How did he get this strong? And also be aware of his Hakai! He can Hakai you guys! Huh? Hakai? What is that? It's a deadly power that only the destroyer can use. They can erase you from existence. Uh, whoa! Is this the power that we're talking about? So that's Beerus's power! Amazing! <laughs> Whoever it is, we can handle them. Before you know it. Beerus has now arrived to planet earth as he looked at everyone and he saw that Frieza was standing there and said, ah, if it isn't Frieza living on planet earth with no one other than Prince Vegeta. Be Beerus! As Frieza has now regained his memories on who Beerus the destroyer was and he said, now I remember you. Beerus what are you doing here? <laughs> it's weird to see you acting all pure hearted Frieza. Uh, now I remember you. Your beer is a destroyer! Well no duh, thanks for pointing out the obvious. I remember you came to planet Vegeta! <laughs> That's not all. I'm also the one who told this knucklehead to destroy planet Vegeta. S say what? Then what are you doing here? Are you gonna destroy this planet too? <laughs> I hope in your case Beerus you better not destroy this planet or else I'll have to end you myself. This is my home. Is that so? And just what can you do Frieza? After all, I'm here to battle with you over there. Hmm? I have been expecting you too, Beerus. 
I was well informed by the Supreme Kai. Ah, I see. If you weren't linked to me, Kai, I would have Hawkeyed you right there. <laughs> now when I'm around, you need to go through me first, but at the same time, my Saiyan blood is just boiling to fight a challenge with you, Beerus. Beerus saw that Nappa, Radis, Trunks, Gohan, and Goten has now all arrived towards the battle. As he noticed that there were more Saiyans and he looked towards Frieza and said, You have failed to do the one thing I asked, Frieza. There are so many Saiyans living here. And for that, it is time to punish you and Earth. Frieza has transformed into his platinum form and said, I'll kill you where you stand, Beerus. I have feared you once before, but after meeting with Goku, I no longer have that fear. Very good, Frieza. It is time I put that fear back into you, but show me what you got. Frieza went and he charged towards Beerus and before you know it, Beerus went and strike Frieza. As Frieza flew, but he went and used his speed and came right behind Beerus. But before he can make an attack, Beerus went and kicked him in his face, causing Frieza to be sent flying away. Beerus stopped himself as he went and threw a punch towards Frieza's face and they started to go at it. While they were fighting, Whis decided to go and stuff his face with some earth food, but Frieza went and threw a death beam towards Beerus, but he knocked it away very easily and said, Impressive Frieza. Before I even trained, you couldn't do this to me, and now after training you're able to do this? Call me Impress. As Beerus went and he powered up a Hakai Blast and he threw it towards Frieza. Frieza got hit by the Hakai Blast and he began screaming but from there Frieza decided to go and use his energy as he surrounded his body with it and he managed to go and turn the Hakai Wave into a blast as he used it for himself and he threw it right back at Beerus. Beerus went and blew the Hakai Wave again and said, I'm very impressed but you are too relaxed Frieza. Before Beerus can make the next move, he got kicked in the face by Super Saiyan God Vegeta. If I were you, Beerus, leave this planet. I don't want to repeat myself again. You're looking at a Saiyan that can go Super Saiyan God. <laughs> Not impressed at all. Gohan came using his full power, and from there, Vegeta charged towards Beerus and he started to attack him. But Beerus stood still as he took all of Vegeta's head, and from there, he went and took his hand and twisted it as he punched him right in his face. Gohan came and started to attack Beerus while he was easily holding his own against them all. Nappa and Raditz decided to join in, but Beerus went and quickly one shot them before they know it and they passed out. While Gohan, Frieza and Vegeta surrounded him and they began attacking Beerus and while they were fighting, Goku decided to go join in the battle as he has went and screamed. Goku has transformed into his Super Saiyan 2 Blue. <laughs> We stop eating his food and he started to focus on Goku. Finally, it's going to be an epic showdown now. This one's going to go in history books. Goku vs Beerus. I must say Saiyan, I'm impressed with your power. Never thought you'll be able to reach that much. I hope you're ready Beerus, because when you mess with Earth, you're going to have to fight all of us. Father, let's put an end towards him. As they all went and they surrounded Beerus and from there their battle has begun. Goku went and charged at Beerus as he threw a punch towards him and they started to go all out. The rest of the Z fighters went and started to attack him while Beerus was getting overpowered due to the fact that it was 1 versus 6. While being overpowered, Beerus got angry and he decided to go and use what he has trained for, the power which he has gained through his angel. Once when Beerus used his power, everybody got hit by Beerus as they all fell towards the ground and they saw that Beerus was glowing. Beerus has now used his Ultra Instinct, which he managed to get by training with Whis over the last 7 years. Goku and everyone was shocked to see this power, as he looked towards Goku and said, I'm impressed Saiyan, but now let's see what you got. Frieza tried to attack Beerus but he went and one shot him towards the ground. Upon seeing that got Gohan and Vegeta a little scared, but Gohan went and he powered up to full and started to attack Beerus but he was dodging his attack very easily. 
Vegeta joined in but Beerus went and dodged both of their attacks like if there were nothing. Goku went and he powered up to his Kaioken times 10 with his Super Saiyan 2 Blue as he charged towards Beerus and he managed to hit him. Beerus brushed Goku off and said, Not bad Saiyan, it looks like the battle between you and me will now begin. Show me what you got. <laughs> You're strong Beerus, I have to admit, what they say about you is very true. I'm really impressed, but there's more power towards me than this. Goku went and he rushed towards Beerus as he did the same and both of their power clashed with one another. As they were going at it, Beerus managed to go and hold his own while Goku started to notice that his attack was not working on Beerus. As Beerus looked towards Goku and said, What's wrong Saiyan? Is that all you got? I must admit, I'm very disappointed. Don't tell me this is all the power you have within you. <laughs> this is not even close Beerus. Like I said, the difference between your power and my power, it is that of heaven and earth. Which got me thinking, is this all the power you got? Huh? How dare you mock me? Beerus went and punched Goku in his face. As he flew away and from there Beerus came right next to him and he started to attack Goku in his face non-stop. While he was being badly hurt, Beerus then went and powered up a large wave attack and he threw it towards Goku which was strong enough to destroy not just planet earth but the entire galaxy. Once when Beerus released the attack, it was coming close to Goku but he wasn't worried as he went and he used Kaioken times 20 with his Super Saiyan 2 blue power and he rushed towards the blast as Goku went right inside it and he came out and the blast managed to go and be dispersed while Goku flew right towards Beerus face and he punched him hard causing him to be sent flying towards outer space. Goku followed as he saw that Beerus stared towards him and he was wiping the blood off of his mouth and said, you didn't even come close to my power Saiyan. I am the strongest destroyer in this multiverse and now you're gonna see why I am the strongest destroyer. Beerus has used 100% of his power but Goku smiled and said, <laughs> I must admit you are strong Beerus but let me show you why your power doesn't even intimidate me. Goku has done the impossible as he has now take his transformation to the next level and he has now transformed into a Super Saiyan 3 Blue. Upon seeing that, Beerus couldn't believe just how strong he was since he could sense Goku's power and he saw that it was off the chart and he said, What? What am I sensing? Oh my god, this mortal is really something else, I cannot believe it. His power is even stronger than all the destroyers, is as strong as us if anything. This is my true power Beerus, you haven't begun to comprehend how strong I am. I don't know what to say. How are you able to do this Saiyan, how can you be this strong? Hmm, that's nothing to worry about Beerus, what you should be worrying about is about your own pride, as the strongest destroyer is gonna look bad when a mortal defeats you. Goku went and he came right in front of Beerus as he striked him in his face and from there Beerus got sent flying across the universe. Beerus went and he ended up landing in a remote planet which was known as Vampa while Goku followed and he went and punched Beerus right in the guts as he landed towards the ground. While they were going at it, two stranglers were looking towards them as they saw that Goku and Beerus were fighting and they said, What? What is this? Father, stay back. Their power is just something else. Goku then went and uppercut Beerus as he got sent flying right back towards the space and Goku went and started to beat the shit out of him. Beerus didn't stand a chance against Goku as he got desperate and he went and he tried to Hakai Goku but Goku went and took his hand and broke it causing Beerus to be in pain and he went and Kai him right back towards planet earth. Once when they got there, Goku went and decked him towards the ground as Beerus fell and he passed out. Beerus the destroyer with his training with ultra instinct couldn't handle Super Saiyan 3 Blue Goku's power, especially since it was 
This Goku who was born with Frieza's potential, he managed to go and up his power in a very quick speed and he managed to beat the strongest destroyer. Whis was completely surprised as he came towards Goku and said, Oh my god, you're amazing Saiyan! I cannot believe what I've seen! You have beaten Beerus at his full power! <laughs> I wasn't even trying on him, I was using hardly 20%. What? Are you serious, Goku? Did you really just say what I think you said? <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. I was only using 20%. But even that, it was kind of too much for me. Hmm, I see. Okay, Goku, I'm very interested in helping you. How would you like to come with me and train? I can help utilize your power to its full extent. Are you serious? Yes, I am. After all, you can say I'm the one who trained Lord Beerus. And if I could train him to be this strong, talk about what I could turn you into, Goku. Goku was shocked to hear that Muiz was the one who trained Lord Beerus. And from there, Goku got excited as he accepted Weez's offer. And now they all came right back to planet Earth. Beerus woke up after his battle with Goku as he came towards Goku and he shook his hand and said, Congratulations Saiyan, you really are something else. After training with Whis, I would never imagine that you would still beat me. <laughs> I wouldn't lie Lord Beerus, you are by far the toughest opponent I have ever faced. From there Goku shook his hand and now they left right back to Whis's world while Goku continued to celebrate with his friends. Everyone came to Goku as they were very excited but Goku remembered that within a month, he will have to go to Beerus' world so he can go and train with Weave. Goku decided to go and bring Frieza, Vegeta and Gohan with him so they all can get stronger together. While celebrating, they all couldn't believe that Goku had the power to go Super Saiyan 3 Blue and not just use that power to his full extent but he managed to go and put an end to where someone as strong as Beerus who was known as a destroyer god. Since Goku is one of the only mortal who defeated his own destroyer. From there everybody left right back to their home and now one month has passed since Goku fought with Beerus and beat him. It was time for Goku to go and train with Whis as he went and he gathered Frieza and Gohan to go with him along with Vegeta. Before Goku can go and Kai Kai to Beerus' world, out of nowhere Supreme Kai has appeared right in front of him along with Whis. As Goku was shocked to see that Whis has come here and he said, Uh, hey Whis, what are you guys doing here? Goku, something bad happened. Ah, Goku, I was just gonna come to remind you about the training, but Supreme Kai told me about something. What? What's up Supreme Kai, what happened? I've been sensing this very terrible power coming far from the galaxy. I did more research on that and I found out this planet is called Planet Vampa. Hmm, now that you say it, I'm starting to remember one thing. When I was fighting with Lord Beerus, I remembered I punched him towards that one remote planet, but there were two people there. I wasn't really paying attention to them, but I could sense their power. Yes, I'm pretty sure that's the one we're sensing, Goku. That is the planet I'm talking about too. It does sound very weird. I would never imagine that their power is that strong that it could be sensed from here. Oh, it would appear we have some guests coming towards Lord Beerus' planet. Huh? Guests? Yes, it is my sister and Lord Beerus' brother. Goku, I need you to come with me. I have invited them over because they want to see you. We have to show them your power. Um, okay. So what do we do, Kai? What's the plan? <laughs> okay, here's the plan then. Vegeta, you go with Frieza and Gohan. Supreme Kai, can you please Kai Kai them towards that planet? I want you guys to go and take care of it and see who it is and try to invite him to come towards this planet. I'm gonna go with Whis to check it out what's happening with his sister and Beerus' brother. Sounds good to me, Goku. Alright then, guys. Come, let's go. We'll go to Planet Vampa in an instant. While Supreme Kai went and he Kai Kai to where's Planet Vampa, Goku went and took Whis and he Kai Kai him to where's Beerus' world. As he has arrived and from there, they saw that Champa and Vados was already there waiting for Goku and Whis. Once when Vegeta and the other has arrived towards Planet Vampa, they were looking around as they noticed the two power level coming far from the east and when they walked towards it, Paragus and Broly saw them as Paragus ran towards them and he felt relieved that someone's here to help them until he saw Vegeta. Upon seeing Vegeta's face, 
and that it resembles King Vegeta's face, he got very angry since Vegeta's father was the one who sent him to die inside this planet. Paragus got mad on seeing Vegeta and he told his son Broly to go and attack Vegeta since his family were the one that brought them to this planet. Broly went and he became angry as he charged up and he rushed towards Vegeta and they began fighting amongst each other. Gohan and Frieza were watching the battle since they were itching to go and join the battle but from there, Broly continued to attack Vegeta until Vegeta went and he screamed and used his Super Saiyan God power. Upon seeing his Super Saiyan God power, Paragus got so scared as he couldn't believe what Vegeta has used and from there Vegeta went and started to attack Broly until Broly went and screamed and used his Ikari form and their power has begun as he began to go and overpower Vegeta. He then went and one shot Vegeta down but out of nowhere, Gohan went and kicked Broly right in his face. While Paragus saw that this was his chance to kill Vegeta since he was knocked out, he went and powered up a blast but before he can aim it, Frieza went and shot a death beam right at Paragus' heart as it pierced through it and he died right there. While Gohan and Broly were going at it, Frieza went and he used his platinum form. I have enough of this Broly, it's time I go and put you down myself. Come on Gohan, we'll do it together. Broly noticed his father has died as he saw his dead body laying around and from there Broly got really angry as he went and screamed. Broly has now transformed into a Super Saiyan. As he rushed towards Gohan, Gohan and Frieza decide to use teamwork and they start to fight with Broly. While that was happening, Goku saw that Vados and Champa was looking towards him as Champa couldn't believe what he heard that Goku went and beat Beerus and that he can be at the level of the angels. Vados also didn't believe that is the reason why she came to see it. Whis then told Goku to go and fight with Vados and that he will help her too just to see how Goku stands. Goku upon hearing that got excited and he agreed to fight it and from there he went and used his Super Saiyan 2 from the start. As their battle has now begun, Whis and Vados stood side by side while he stared towards Goku and said, Are you ready for this Goku? It is time to see where you stand. <laughs> sure, I guess I'm ready, this is my first time ever fighting an angel. I still cannot believe you guys are angels. Are you serious brother? Are you telling me that he is as strong as us? Just watch sis and see his power you haven't seen it like me. By the way Goku, use the same power you used to fight with Beerus. Oh that, I'm still trying to get a hang of it but okay I'll try if I can. I see, okay then I have an idea. As Whis and Vato stared towards Goku and from there they rushed towards him and they began attacking him. Goku went and used his Kaioken times 20 just so he can keep up with their speed as he flew towards Vados and he striked her in her face but Vados went and did a backflip as she came right back at Goku and striked him right in the stomach. Goku was in pain and from there Whis went and threw him towards the ground as they went and they started to beat the shit out of Goku. Whis then went and he powered up a blast from his staff as he aimed it towards Goku. While Goku saw that this was futile to fight him because they're too strong but he went and screamed. This is all thanks to you, fighting you both at once. I discovered I had power inside of me that I didn't realize was there. Goku has now transformed. There it is sis, he has done it again. Unbelievable, to think a mortal can have this much before Vados can finish. Goku went right in front of her and he striked her right in the guts. As she was in pain and when she tried to gasp for air, he then went and kicked her in the chest, causing him to be sent flying towards the ground. We saw that as he went right back to his guard but Goku went and charged towards him and their power clashed with one another. 
As Beerus and Champa couldn't believe what they were seeing, that Goku and Whis was going one on one with each other and that Goku was holding his own against him. Both of them continued to land blow to blow to one another as they weren't ready to give up just yet. So Goku, tell me, how much are you using against me? <laughs> I'm not sure. I think I'm trying to use only half on you. How about you, Whis? Hmm. Okay then, let me show you. Before Whis can finish, Goku went and decked him in his face as he flew right next to Vados. From there, Goku went and powered up a Kamehameha wave and he aimed it right at them. As they tried to go and hold it off but before they can disperse the blast, they saw that Goku rushed towards the blast as he went through his own Kamehameha wave and he appeared right before them and punched both of them in their face. Whis and Vados decided to go and use more power but before they can, they heard someone come and said, That is enough! You know what will happen if you guys use any more power! Oh, father! Please forgive me! We have got into the zone! Did he just say father? Hmm? What is that? I'll be right back, guys! As Goku had left Beast's world and now he kai kai to planet Vampa. Upon his arrival, Goku saw that Frieza and Gohan were attacking Broly, but Broly went and he screamed. <laughs> Broly has used his legendary Super Saiyan power as he went and struck Frieza right in the guts and it caused him to be sent flying away. Before he can continue, Gohan went and tried to hold him off but Broly went and picked him up and smashed him towards the ground. Broly then ran towards Frieza but before he can make the next move, Goku came right in front of him and said, That's enough big guy, it's time you go and calm down. Goku went and he one shot Broly as he fell to the ground and he went right back to his base. Goku then told Supreme Kai to take Broly and everyone else back to planet Earth as he did while Goku went and Kai Kai right back to Beerus' world as he saw that Dai Shinken was angry with Whis and Vados but when Goku has appeared he looked towards him as he came towards Goku and said, I'm impressed Goku, you are the second mortal who's able to go and stand their own against their own angel. Wait, did you just say second? Ugh. Who is first then? <laughs> It's a mortal from Universe 11. He is also a very special mortal. And just like you, Goku, he managed to beat his angel. With ease. What? Are you serious? He managed to beat his own angel easily? I was struggling just to fight Whis and Vados. Well, to be fair, you were trying to hold them both off at the same time. But I would say that this mortal is the strongest mortal I have seen. After all, he does crave for more power. Goku couldn't hear what he was believing and from there Zeno has appeared as everyone got scared seeing that and they bowed down except for Goku. Zeno then mentioned that he was very bored and that he wanted to see this mortal fight with Goku one day inside a tournament. Upon hearing that, Goku loved that idea as he went towards Zeno and he told him that this will be a very great idea to do and from there Zeno had a liking towards Goku and now they went and shook each other's hand. Dai Shinken liked that idea too as he left with Zeno and he told Goku, We'll be meeting for each other very soon, Goku. Get ready. <laughs> you bet! I cannot wait! Goku was very excited for the tournament, and from there he went and said his goodbye to Whis as he will come the next day to train, but he went and kai kai right back to planet Earth to take care of Broly. Once when he got there, he went and gave everyone a senso bean. As they all recovered, and from there when Goku went towards Broly, he gave Broly a senso bean. Upon eating that, Broly got up but he saw Goku stood before him as he was confused but from there Goku said, Whoa, relax big guy! I'm actually here because I would love to offer you to come stay in my place and be part of this world. What'd you say Broly? We do have a lot of potential here and I could help you unlock yours too. Sure, your world is kind of beautiful. Goku and Broly shook each other's hand and now they have gained yet a new Z fighter. From there, everyone went and they cleaned themselves up as Goku told them that he's going to take all of them to go to Beerus' world and train with Whis as the next day happened and now they all left planet Earth along with Broly and they begun training with Whis. While that was happening, far in the universe, my wish to you Super Dragon is to make me become Son Goku, switch bodies with him. 
<laughs> Amazing! This feels good! Now it's your turn, Zamasu! Time to make you to be the second strongest mortal! Sure thing! I wish to switch bodies with Broly! Yes! This power is amazing! Now what's the next plan? You already know! Project Zero Mortal! <laughs> Let's begin with Universe 7! Goku and the rest of the Z fighters were at Weez's world for a couple of months since they were training with him trying to get stronger. Couple of months has passed since Goku last fought with Vados and Weez and he was trying to do everything he can to have a rematch so that he can win their battle. And as for the Z fighters, they were doing everything they can to learn from Weez while Goku was training with Weez and even Vados. Within those couple of months, Frieza managed to go and get a new form since he did obtain God Key, along with Gohan and Broly. Vegeta was doing everything he can to get stronger so he's able to keep up with Goku. While everyone was busy training at Beerus' world, back on planet Earth, Gine was doing a little sparring with Nappa and Raditz while Piccolo was there to help them out. From there, Boma noticed that the Earth's atmosphere wasn't the same as it was before and from there things was getting out of hand. Goten and Trunks were training with each other but they realized something wasn't right and before they can react, Goku Black and Broly Black has now arrived to planet Earth. Upon their arrival, they begun to go and sense out where Goku is but they couldn't pick up his power level due to the fact that Goku wasn't even on planet Earth. While sensing, they end up appearing right next to Raditz and Nappa as they stopped their sparring with Ginei and they saw Goku and Broly came right next to them and they were completely confused on why Goku and Broly were wearing the same gi but different from their original gi. Goku Black looked towards Raditz and said, You there, tell me, where can I find Goku? Huh? What are you talking about Kakarot? <laughs> they don't know anything, they think we're them, it's just a waste of time. You're not my Kakarot, who are you? What do you mean, mother? <laughs> As Goku Black went and he kneed Gine right in the stomach and she passed out. Raditz and Nappa went and they charged towards him but Broly Black went and threw a key blast towards them as they hit him head on and they flew meters away and passed out. Goku Black went towards Piccolo as he grabbed him with one hand and he began choking the life out of him and he asked him, Tell me green guy, where is Goku? Tell me or else I'll destroy this entire world. You're making a big mistake. You want him? Go and get him. He's at Beerus' world training, waiting for you. But just remember, this will be your last breath. Goku Black went and he one shot Piccolo towards the ground as he looked towards Broly and said, Let's go to that feeble destroyer world. We will end Goku and everyone else and begin Project Zero Mortal, starting with Goku. <laughs> <laughs> I like that plan. Let's do this quick before something comes up. Back on Beerus' world, Goku was meditating while the Z Fighters has just finished their training and now they took a break for a meal. But out of nowhere, they all picked up heavy power level coming towards them as they saw someone has arrived right before them and they saw that it was no one other than Goku Black and Broly Black. Upon seeing them, they were very shocked and confused on who they are since Goku and Broly are right in front of them and right behind him is the original Goku and Broly. So they start to question what's going on. What? Who are you guys? Hmm, this is very strange. But I noticed something, Lord Beerus. Do you see the time ring? I think I should go handle this, Whis. So, here you are hiding, Goku. <laughs> Why don't you come out and play with me? so I can put an end towards your life. Who are you? And what do you want with me? Why do you look like me? And why do you look like Broly? Answer us who you are. Shut your mouth, if you know what's good for you. All right, I have had enough. It's time for you both to go away. Before Beerus can say another word, Goku Black came right in front of him 
as you need him right in his face, causing him to be sent flying towards Broly Black. And from there, Broly Black went and powered up attack and threw it towards Beerus. As he tried to go and disperse the attack and before Beerus can go and even use his Ultra Instinct. Everyone saw that the Supreme Kai was already there but he was lying dead in the ground. As they turned around and they saw that Goku Black has went and stabbed Beerus with his Keyblade. As it pierced right through his heart and Beerus died right there. Feeble Destroyer has no idea how strong I am compared to him. Goku went and he transformed into his Super Saiyan 3 Blue. From there, Goku went and rushed towards Black as he striked him in his face, causing him to be sent flying meters away. Broly Black tried to go and aid Goku Black, but Goku went and elbowed Broly right in his face before he can make the next move. Goku Black got up and said, Very good, Goku, but I also have this form. <laughs> That is right, I have also transformed into Super Saiyan 3 Rose. It's time I put an end towards you. You wish, buddy. I'll put an end towards this battle before you know it. Goku went and he rushed towards Black as both of their fists clashed with one another and they were going at it while they were fighting. Vegeta went and he transformed into his Super Saiyan Baloo. As both of them went and they charged towards Goku Black and they started to attack him. While Broly went and he transformed to his legendary Super Saiyan and he started to attack Broly Black along with Gohan. While all the Z fighters were fighting Goku Black, he noticed that it was just a waste of time trying to deal with him. So he looked towards Broly Black and said, Let's use the trump card, what do you say? We'll put an end towards them. I couldn't agree more, let's do it. Goku Black went and he used a Key Blast to push everyone away as he came right next to Broly. And now they have gone, and they have merged into one. <laughs> now, this is what you call true divine power. What do you say, Goku? Unbelievable. Their power has just jumped very high. But how? Don't be alarmed, Goku. We can. Before Frieza can say another word, Merge Zamasu went and unleashed a new attack called Mortal Justice. As he shined it in the air and it went and hit everyone in their blind spot, causing him to instantly pass out, including Goku. From there, Merge Zamasu then went towards planet Earth since he wanted to go and begin Project Zero Mortal and destroy all the mortals there so he can hurt Goku and show him what he has done and then kill Goku. Whis and Vados managed to get up as they were surprised to see how powerful Goku Black has now become with Broly's new power infused with him even causing the angels to pass out. They then went and used their staff on the Z fighters as they all got up and there Goku looked towards Whis and said, Huh? What happened? Where did he go? They hit us in our blind spot, Goku, causing all of us to pass out. Darn it! He's that dirty, huh? Where is he now, Whis? He is appearing to be in planet Earth. He's trying to kill all the mortals. You must hurry, Goku! Goku went and he kaikai everyone towards planet Earth. As they got there and they saw that Merge Zamasu went and he was powering up a large blast to destroy half of Earth's population. But before he can unleash the attack, Goku has come right in front of it and said, it's time I put an end towards you, Black! Hmm, I see you managed to get up from that attack. Impressive as always, Goku. But now, what could a weakling like you do in front of me? I'll show you what I can do, personally! Goku went and he charged towards Zamasu, while the rest of the Z fighters came to aid him at full power, and they all started to attack him. 
while everyone was attacking Zamasu, he was trying to hold his own but from there, they slowly were trying to overpower him as they began to attack him even more. He then went and used full of his power as he went and transformed into his Super Saiyan Rose. You mortal never knew your place, that's why I'll end you all! Zamasu went and he powered up an enormous attack, strong enough to destroy this galaxy, as he aimed it towards planet Earth, but from there Goku went and he caught the blast, as he put all his energy towards it and he managed to disperse it. Once when the blast got dispersed and everyone saw that the smoke got cleared, Zamasu saw that Goku's body was glowing. Goku managed to go and pick up this new technique from the angels, which was known as the Ultra Instinct. Upon seeing that Zamasu wasn't even phased by it, and he said, I'm not even impressed. Is that all you got? Before he can say another word, Goku has appeared right in front of him as he went and striked him in his face and he got sent flying meters away. Everyone was amazed with Goku's power, while Zamasu got up and said, This one cut it. You're still the same weakling mortal. That's why I stole your body. My body? What do you mean by that? After hearing about that mortal who was strong enough to even beat their so-called god, I couldn't believe it until I saw it on GodTube. And after learning and watching you, Goku, I studied you because you're just immortal. You don't deserve to have this power. So I went and used the Super Dragon Balls and I wish to exchange body with you and my counterpart did the same with Broly since he was the second strongest mortal inside this universe. How sad, you need a mortal just to prove you're strong. What a weakling deity. Maybe if you train a little Zamasu, you would have had the power to be as strong as me. It's good you didn't hurt my loved one. Silence you foolish mortal, how dare you talk to me that way. Zamasu went and he charged towards Goku and he started to attack him non-stop, but Goku was too fast for Zamasu as he saw every move that Zamasu was making and he was dodging it very easily. Zamasu saw that he couldn't even touch Goku so he started to get very frustrated. While they were fighting, Whis and Vados has now appeared towards the battlefield as they saw that Goku was inside his Ultra Instinct and from there Whis said, I cannot believe it! Goku has done it! Most destroyer even struggled to get this power, but he managed to get it in an instant. I told you, sis, he's a special mortal. Hey, why are you still stronger than us? We even fused to become the strongest in this multiverse, and yet you're somehow stronger. It doesn't make sense. Unlike you, you ungrateful deity, I'm happy with what I am. You can go and steal as much body as you want, but it won't do you any good because it will never be your own power. And that was your downfall, Zamasu. Goku went and he charged up as he flew towards Zamasu and decked him in his face non-stop. Zamasu was trying to hold his own against Goku, but Goku was far superior towards him as Goku went and kneed him in his face and he went and powered up a large Kamehameha wave. He then told the Z-Fires to go and power up their own attack as everyone came and surrounded Zamasu and they powered up their attack and they aimed it right at him, causing his body to explode and he died right there. Once when Zamasu has died, Goku went right back to his base as he went in Kaikai Kai to plan a Namek and he used their Dragon Balls and wished back all the population that Zamasu has killed since he came to this universe. Once when he did, he came right back and everyone was very amazed and impressed with Goku's new power and they are happy that the battle was finally over. Whis couldn't stop praising Goku on his new achievement as he managed to now tap in what the gods can and he managed to go and put an end to words Zamasu. Just when they were all celebrating, Dai Shinken has now appeared right in front of Goku and said, Amazing Goku, but come with me, Lord Zeno will like to see you. Huh? Sure. Goku and everyone managed to go and save the day, as Goku has used his new power called the Ultra Instinct. 
With that new power, Goku managed to go and take down Zamasu. After stealing his and Broly's power and infusing it to one, it still wasn't enough to go and hold its own against Ultra Instinct Goku, as Goku has proved towards everyone who is superior between them. Goku on the other hand was very excited and curious on who would be the other fighter that Daishinken mentioned who can beat him easily since he was the one who also beat his angel. Goku then went and he kaikai Daishinken with him to Zeno's palace since Zeno did want to see him. Once when they have arrived, Zeno was very happy to see Goku as he said, Hey Goku! Yo! What's up Zenny? By the way, I'm wondering, when will you hold a tournament? You know, the fight between me and the other guy who Daishinkis is very strong from the 11th universe? I want to fight him! You're right, Goku! I forgot! I want to see that fight too! It will be amazing! Daishinkin, please arrange this! I want this to be a tournament and to see Goku and him fight! Hmm, <laughs> very well, my sire. I know exactly what to do. Alright then, Goku. How about you go right back to your world and I'll get back to you with the detail on the tournament. <laughs> awesome! I cannot wait! Goku then went and he kai kai right back to his earth as he was very excited and he couldn't wait for Dai Shinkin to come back and tell them the details about the tournament. Beers on the other hand was very nervous since he didn't know what Goku and Zeno talked about and before he can even ask Goku what happened, Dai Shinkin has appeared right before them as he has now gotten the details about the tournament and he said, this will be called the tournament of power. For this tournament the Omni King wants to see all the destroyers to take part of this tournament and fight one another. It will be a battle royale you can say, while Goku, you will be able to go and fight with the strongest mortal. Right, you got it Daishinken, I cannot wait for that. But do remember Goku, you guys will need 10 fighters to enter the tournament. By the way Daishinken, what is the fighter's name that you mentioned who is as strong as me? Well, might as well tell you Goku, his name is Jiren the Grey. He's the only mortal who has trained with an angel since birth until now, and he has also gained the power of Ultra Instinct just like you, Goku. Hmm, Jiren, huh? Alright then, I'll be ready for him. Before leaving, Daishiken then told him that the losers will be eliminated from the tournament in a race. Upon hearing that got Goku and the rest very shocked, and so Goku went and he kai kai to Zeno's palace, and he plead to Zeno not to destroy the universe, due to the fact that they were friends, Zeno has agreed not to destroy any of the universe but he told Goku not to tell no one about this rule and that everyone's going to know that they're going to be erased only because he wants everyone to fight and give it all to see how they go. Goku was happy that Zeno has agreed with him as he has come back but he didn't tell no one about what Zeno was telling him. He kept that a secret so that the rest of the universe 7 can push beyond their limit. From there, Goku went and he began doing his recruiting. But before he can go, Nappa and Raditz came towards him and said, Kakarot, I want to show you something. Hmm? What's up? Oh my god! Are you serious? How did you guys learn to go Super Saiyan Blue? We trained with Whis while you were fighting with Kakarot Black or whatever you want to call it. Hmm, now we also have this power Kakarot! Awesome! Alright then, definitely you guys will be inside a tournament. We can use your help. From there, Goku has gone and gathered all the fighters he needed to enter the tournament of power. Everyone has now started training for it since they did have only two weeks to be ready. Goku went and he trained with Frieza and Broly, while Vegeta, Nappa, Gohan and Raditz continued to train with Whis, so that they can have their power unlocked to its fullest and be ready to go and take on any of the fighter that comes inside the tournament. From there, two weeks has passed and now everyone has finished their training and they were all getting ready for Dai Shinkin to come and get them so they can enter the tournament of power. They were all at Goku's house waiting for Dai Shinkin and, and coming up with a plan on how they will survive this tournament. From there, Whis call upon Dai Shinkin and now they have been transported towards the tournament of power. The fighters for Universe 7 are Android 17, Android 18, Piccolo, Nappa, Raditz, Gohan, Vegeta, Broly, Frieza, 
and Goku, as the tournament of power has now begun. Once when they got there, everyone was getting overwhelmed by seeing all the fighters that have arrived towards the tournament, but Goku was too busy trying to sense where Jiren was, as he can see that there's a lot of fighters, but when he started to focus, Goku started to sense a very high power level leaking far from the corner, as he turned around and said, Whoa, that must be him, as they stared at one another. From there, Dai Shinken has come, as he told everyone about the tournament of power and the rules, and that the destroyers will fight from the start, but the destroyers will attack the destroyers, while the mortals will be fighting the mortals. Now that the rule has been explained, it was time for the tournament of power to begin, as everyone went and they started to go and fight amongst each other. While everyone was fighting, the Z fighters made a plan that they would go and fight anyone that came in their way, so that Goku can go and fight with where Jiren is and see how they match up, while Goku went and started to search for where Jiren can be. While Goku was trying to sense where Jiren is, a lot of fighters came to fight Goku but he used his high key pressure to move them out of the way, and Frieza came beside Goku and he started to take down anyone that tried to attack Goku. While that was happening, the destroyers saw that Goku was there and that he was known to be the strongest mortal, so they made a plan to go and attack him but before they can, Beerus has come as he uses Ultra Instinct and said, Alright now, you clown better leave or I'll knock each and every one of you out. <laughs> Beerus, please! You know for a fact Goku won't last much against my Jiren! Hmm, <laughs> we'll see about that. As Vermont went and he tried to attack Beerus, but Beerus went and decked him in his face, causing him to be sent flying out of the arena. The rest of the destroyers came as they came one by one to attack Beerus, but he stood his ground since he was the strongest destroyer out of all the other destroyers. While they were doing that, Vegeta bumped into a fighter from Universe 11, and his name was Topo. He didn't like Vegeta, especially the fact that Vegeta was associated with Universe 7. He saw that Vegeta is evil just like Goku as he looked towards him and said, I'll make sure I put someone as evil as you down! Oh shut up you mustache! Let's see what you got then! As their battle has begun and they start to go at it. Vegeta was holding his own against Topo, but from there Topo went and used his full power as he started to go and have the upper hand. Vegeta went and continued to attack him, but he saw that Topo was overwhelming him with power, but from there, Vegeta went and used his full power of Super Saiyan Blue, and they're going at it. Upon seeing that Vegeta was the same level as him, Topo got very angry, as he decided to go and let go of himself, as he has now accepted his role, and next thing you know, Topo has tapped into his destroyer mode. Upon seeing that, Vegeta and everyone got very worried, while Topo went and he struck Vegeta right in his face and he began to go and throw a lot of Hakai Blasts towards him. Vegeta was desperate to try to go and dodge it but he saw that those blasts were too strong for him and from there, he began remembering his family as he felt a push and next thing you know, Vegeta went and screamed. <laughs> Vegeta has now transformed into his Super Saiyan Blue evolution. Now Topo, I'll make sure I destroy you myself! While they were fighting, Broly went and he saw that Universe 6 had a legendary Super Saiyan as she was trying to fight her way out but from there, he saw that another Saiyan named Khalifa was fighting alongside with her and from there Broly decided to go and enter their battle as he wanted to go and have a piece of them. While Broly was fighting with Kel and Khalifa, Universe 3 was very desperate to win this battle, so they went and used Domestic Measure as they have now all fused to become one. They have now become Analaza. Analaza with his enormous power and size, he went and begun eliminating any of the fighters that came in his way, as the entire tournament saw that he was a big threat, but from there Universe 7 fighter came to put him down as it was Piccolo, Frieza, Raditz, Nappa, and the androids. They all came to fight with Analaza. While that was happening, Gohan saw hits. He was known as his assassin from Universe 6, as he went and he started to eliminate some fighters, but when he saw Gohan, they stared at one another, while Gohan smiled and said, 
Looks like I'll take you down myself. Hmm, is that so? Then show me what you got. While everyone was fighting their way out, Goku was muscling his way as he saw that one destroyer came out of nowhere and he was a destroyer from Universe 2 and he tried to go and hit Goku. But Goku went and easily one shot him down and he got eliminated. Once when Goku landed towards the ground, he then turned around as he saw Jiren was there staring at him. So you're finally ready to fight me, huh? Let's see what you got then. While they were staring at each other, everyone from the Tournament of Power began to feel the enormous pressure coming out of Jiren's body as they all stopped their battle and they turned to see the fight between Goku versus Jiren. Vermont was hyping Jiren up and said, Jiren, it is time. Time for the multiverse to see your power. Show Son Goku who's standing right in front of you that he doesn't stand any chance against you. I understand, and I'll show the multiverse the difference between us. Ah, it would appear Jiren and Goku will now battle it out, sire. Oh wow, I cannot wait! I wonder who's gonna win this battle! Who you think, Daishinkin? I cannot tell. It is very hard. Both of them have Ultra Instinct. This will be very interesting. From there, Goku decided to go and rushed towards Jiren as he powered up a Kamehameha wave and he aimed it at him but he saw it didn't even phase Jiren. Goku then went and used his Super Saiyan Blue from the start and he rushed towards Jiren and started to attack him but he saw none of his attack work towards him. He then went and used more power as he is transformed into his Super Saiyan Blue too but it hardly moved Jiren away. Hmm, what will take you to get into high gear? Maybe this will do it. Goku has now transformed into a Super Saiyan Blue 3. As he has walked towards Jiren and now both of them stared at one another. The entire arena couldn't believe the battle they were seeing in front of them as Goku and Jiren has now continued their battle. From there Goku went and he striked Jiren but Jiren went and headbutted him down as he fell to the ground but he came right back up and he continued to attack Jiren as they were going at it. Jiren decided to go and use more power while Goku went and he uses Kaioken and they are both landing blow to blow across the entire arena as they kept throwing each other away from one another. While they were fighting the entire arena continued to shake with their enormous power clashing with one another. But while Goku was attacking Jiren he noticed that inside his Kaioken mixed with Super Saiyan 3 still wasn't enough for Jiren as Jiren went and decked him in his guts and kicked him down. Goku got up as he went and powered up a massive Kamehameha wave and he aimed it directly at Jiren. Jiren stood still as it went and hit him head on and everyone heard a very loud explosion. Once when the smoke cleared. They saw that Jiren was glowing as he started to go and use his full power but at the same time he managed to go and repel Goku's Kamehameha wave as it managed to go and change the entire atmosphere. What? How was he able to withstand that? <laughs> I'm very impressed. Looks like I'll need to. Before Goku can finish his sentence, Jiren came right in front of him as he decked him down and he crashed towards the rocks. Is that all you got Goku? How pathetic. After hearing that you also took down two angels, I thought you might stand a chance against me. But you turned out to be a disappointment. Jiren went and he powered up a small blast and he aimed it towards Goku. But before it can hit Goku, Goku has now used his Ultra Instinct. The Ultra Instinct, not bad, that's something I didn't know you had. Tell me Jiren, how did you get this strong? My master is the Grand Priest. What? No wonder. Hmm. Grand Priest or not, 
Every fiber in my body won't stop until I put you down, Jiren. Do your best, Goku. But I also have more power. Goku has now used his Ultra Instinct, as everyone saw his power and they were very amazed, but at the same time, most of the deities were shocked to see this, as they haven't witnessed a mortal using Ultra Instinct up close. You may have the Ultra Instinct, but it won't do any good to you. How about you stop talking and start showing me what he can do? As Goku and Jiren powered up their key, and now their battle has begun as they both went and charged towards one another, and their power clashed with each other. While they were fighting, Broly was holding his own against Khalifa and Kel, as they didn't stand a chance against him and from there they decided to go and use Champa's trump card, which was the fusion technique. From there they both went and took out the Patora earrings and they placed it on their ears, and now they have fused to become Kelfla. Broly wasn't even phased by that, as he went and screamed. <laughs> Broly has transformed into his legendary Super Saiyan, as he went towards them and he began attacking them non-stop. Even at Super Saiyan 2 Fusion Kefla, they didn't stand a chance against Broly, as he went and he landed a decisive blow on her and she got eliminated from the tournament. Broly then went towards Beerus, as he saw that all the destroyers were teaming up on him and he decided to go and aid Beerus in his battle. With Broly's help, Beerus and him managed to go and start to beat the destroyers, as they have gone and eliminated all the destroyers that were there, leaving Beerus to be the last one standing. Frieza on the other hand went and he used his platinum form. As he managed to go and throw a powerful attack towards Analaza. Analaza tried to hold it on but when the rest of the Z fighters went and threw their attack, they managed to go and get him eliminated. But G Titan and Topo were going at it as Topo surrounded his body with his Hakai but Vegeta's Super Saiyan Blue Evolution was overwhelming him as he managed to go and break through that shield and from there Beerus and Brawly has come out of nowhere as they both went and took Topo by his face and they smashed it towards the ground. Topo then began to be overpowered by them but from there Vegeta went and threw a final flash at him as he tried to do everything he can to hold it off but he got hit head on and it caused him to be sent flying out of the arena. Universe 7 with their awesome power and teamwork, they managed to go and eliminate most of the fighters that were in the tournament as the remaining fighters were Goku, Jiren, Broly, Beerus, Gohan, Frieza, Vegeta, Nappa and Raditz. They all decided to go and make their way towards the ultimate battle which was Jiren, as Jiren and Goku were going at it. They kept hitting each other and from there Jiren said, It's over Goku, I will win this tournament and use the Super Dragon Balls. Jiren went and he decked Goku in his face. As he got sent flying from there, Goku went and came right next to Jiren but he saw that Jiren went and elbowed him in his stomach as he took him by his face and he smashed it towards the ground. Before Jiren can make the next move on Goku, he then saw that the remaining Z fighters were standing there ready to fight him. As Vegeta looked at him and said, It's time to put you down. I don't care how strong you are, mortal. I'll beat you myself. It's time, Jiren, to see the true power of Universe 7. I'll start by beating his face. Bring it. Before anyone can make the next move, Beerus went and he powered up a large Hakai wave to aim it towards Jiren. As he threw his attack towards him and from there the rest of the Z fighters went and they powered up their own enormous attack and they combined it into one as it mixed with Beerus Hakai attack and they went and hit Jiren head on. Once when Jiren got hit head on, he stood still as he let the blast hit him and they all heard a very loud explosion. What an amazing battle, but unfortunately that wouldn't be enough to stop Jiren. Everyone saw that the smoke cleared and from there they saw that Jiren was glowing as he wasn't even scratched by them.
Jaren has used his Ultra Instinct as he managed to go and repel their attack and said, How pathetic. Even with your weakling destroyer helping you, you still didn't land a single scratch on me. But what? You gotta be kidding me! What is he made out of? Jaren went and he rushed towards Beerus as he grabbed him by his face and he threw him out of the arena. Beerus tried to come back but Jaren went and aimed a blast at him as it hit him head on and he got eliminated. Before Vegeta can make any move, he got decked in the face as he also made his way towards the bleachers. Broly and Gohan went and they charged towards Jaren as they started to attack him but Jaren was too fast for them as he managed to go and dodge all of their attacks and from there Jaren went and took both of them by their face and he smashed it together as he went and kicked Gohan in his guts while Broly went and he grabbed onto Jaren as he had him in a lock. Raditz and Nappa came as they powered up an attack to throw it towards Jaren but Jaren went and used his elbow as he smashed Broly in his stomach causing him to let go of him and from there Jaren went and uppercut Broly as he gets sent flying high in the air and before he can react, Jaren has come right next to him and said, It's over, warrior. As he shined a blast right on Broly and he got sent flying out of the arena. Frieza, Gohan were the only one left with Nappa and Raditz, so they all decide to go and use their power as one and charge towards Jaren with everything they got. Raditz and Nappa decide to use their teamwork that they're working together as they flew towards Jaren but he went and powered up his Ultra Instinct as the key pressure was strong enough to get Raditz and Nappa losing their balance and before you know it they both got eliminated as Jaren used his quick speed to attack them both without them noticing. Gohan and Frieza were the last ones standing as Frieza looked towards Jaren and he powered up a large attack but Jaren smiled and before anything could happen Goku came out of nowhere as he struck him right in his guts and he had trouble breathing. The battle's not over until I say it's over, Jaren! <sighs> Goku! You don't know when to quit! <laughs> Why quit? I'm just getting warmed up, Jaren! Is that so? Well then, Goku, show me what you got! As he went and used more of his Ultra Instinct power to its fullest, and he charged towards Jaren, and they started to go at it. Jaren was doing everything he can to hold Goku off, but he saw that Goku start to go and slowly overpower him as Goku's body began to heat up and he had steam coming out of it. Goku began to understand his Ultra Instinct power as he realized that both mind and body has to be one in order for it to work to its fullest. Goku then went and he began to calm down as his body continued to heat up a lot and he said, It's time we put an end to this, what do you say, Jaren? What can you do, Goku? You're just all talk. Well then, tell me if I'm all talk after this. Yeah! Goku has finally done it. After understanding his true power of Ultra Instinct, he managed to do what no other Ultra Instinct user can, which is, Goku has now mastered his Ultra Instinct. I cannot believe this, what am I seeing? This mortal Goku is really special, even more special than Jiren. What is that form? What did you become, Goku? Answer me! Let the battle begin, Jaren. As Goku went and he used his key pressure to cut Jaren right in his cheeks as he got mad, but before he can make the next move, Goku has already appeared right before him as he striked him right in his stomach and he started to attack him non stop. Jaren managed to go and brush Goku off as he went and used everything he had to attack Goku, but he saw that Goku was easily dodging each and every one of his attacks like if there were nothing. Jaren then went and powered up his fist to his fullest as he tried to strike Goku but Goku caught it as he twisted it and he decked him right in his face causing Jaren to be sent flying towards the rocks. Upon seeing just how superior Master Ultra Instinct Goku was towards Jaren, he began to get angry as he started to realize the difference between him and Goku and he didn't want to accept it. Before Jaren can make the next move, Goku has appeared right in front of him as he went and he uppercut Jaren causing him to send flying in the air and he managed to stop himself as he looked towards Goku and said, It's not possible! I cannot lose! 
I won't accept defeat! Jaren has now broke his limit, as he managed to go and mix his Ultra Instinct with his Limit Breaker, allowing him to close the gap between him and Goku. Goku on the other hand saw Jaren's new power, but he wasn't even phased by it, as he looked towards Jaren and he said, Is that all you got Jaren? I want to see what he can do with that power. Don't be cocky Goku! You will see what I can do with this power! Or else, before he can finish his sentence, Goku came right next to him as he went and decked him in his face but Jiren didn't move as he took on Goku's head and he went and uppercut Goku and smashed him towards the ground. Once when Goku fell to the ground, he didn't took any time to get up as he quickly went and brushed Jiren's attack off and he hit him back. Jiren went towards the rock and before he can react, Goku came right in front of him and he striked him as both of them were going back and forth with their power clashing with each other, which each blow they land amongst each other. The entire tournament of power arena couldn't handle it as it began to crack and break. Dai Shinken went and he used his staff to quickly repair the arena while they were fighting. Jaren went and he tried to strike Goku but Goku went and kicked him in his face. From there he went and kicked him down as he flew towards the ground. He then started to go attack him really fast. Jaren couldn't see any of Goku's attack coming towards him as he began to realize that Goku's master ultra instinct was increasing in strength with each blow. Why are you still able to hit me like that and move this fast? I managed to shatter my limit, Goku! What the hell are you made out of? I could say the same about you, Jaren, but by the look of it, it looks like you're getting gassed out. But I still got enough more power reserved inside me. Goku went and he kicked Jaren right in his face as he went and started to beat the shit out of him. From there, Goku went and powered up a large Kamehameha wave as he threw it towards Jaren and it hit him head on, and it got him to be sent flying out of the arena. Goku has now declared to be the winner as the entire multiverse witnessed Goku's new Master Ultra Instinct power and they saw him go and take down Jiren to prove to have the title to be the strongest mortal in the multiverse. Before Goku can celebrate, he began to scream in pain as his body couldn't withhold Master Ultra Instinct and from there he went right back to his base. Dai Shinken came towards Goku as he shined his staff on him and Goku got healed and from there he said, I'm amazed Goku, you managed to be my own student. For your reward, I will give you the Super Dragon Balls and let you be my student too. Oh, wow, that's amazing, thank you Daishinken, I cannot wait. Goku, you may win this battle, but for the next time I'll be the one to win this. Thank you for an amazing fight Goku, I'll never forget this battle. <laughs> you bet Jared, and thank you for fighting me, I'm looking forward towards our rematch. From there, Dai Shingen was about to give Goku the Super Dragon Balls, but he noticed that they weren't there anymore, as he started to question on what happened and said, What the? Where did the Super Dragon Balls go? What is wrong, Dai Shingen? Hmm, it would appear that the Super Dragon Balls has gone into hibernation. Oh well, talk about bad timing. I'm sorry Goku, I cannot give you the Super Dragon Balls just yet, but I will once they become available. Although this is the very first time this has ever happened to before, with the Super Dragon Balls not being available to use it. Something's very weird. But nevertheless, congratulations Goku, we will begin our training session very soon. Thanks to Goku, he has now defeated Jiren as his universe was declared to be the strongest universe in the multiverse and Goku has also gained the title to be the strongest mortal in the multiverse as he managed to go and master his Ultra Instinct and he managed to take down Dai Shinken's student who trained with Dai Shinken pretty much his whole life. Will this be the last time Goku will have to face someone as a challenge or will someone arrive who is more stronger than Jiren?
Goku with his new Master Ultra Instinct power was proven to be the strongest mortal in the multiverse as he managed to go and beat Jiren and now Daishinken made Goku his student as their training session was about to begin very soon. Once when everyone came back to their universes, they all went to their loved ones as couple of weeks has passed and now a new day has begun for the Z Fighters to start their new adventures. Couple of weeks has passed as Dai Shinken came to planet Earth and he enjoyed his delightful cuisines and all the other foods that he never tried before and from there he went and took Goku with him and they Kai Kai to Zeno's palace as their training session has begun and upon arriving Goku saw that Jiren was already there and that he was ready to continue his training session with Goku and Dai Shinken. Vegeta in the other hand was told by Whis to go to this planet called Planet Yadrit so that he can learn a new move or two and from there Supreme Kai went and he Kai Kai'd Vegeta towards Planet Yadrit and now he spent 3 weeks there as he had a huge boost to his power and he managed to gain a technique from Planet Yadrit. While Goku was busy training with Dai Shinken, the Z Fighters were getting ready to go with Whis to Beerus' world so that they can continue their training but they noticed that Frieza was nowhere to be found so they went and they started to sense where Frieza can be but they couldn't even pick up his power level. They have all left towards Beerus' world and once when they arrived there, they begun their training session. While everyone was busy training, out of nowhere, Supreme Kai has come and said, Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find Frieza. Apparently, he's nowhere to be found inside this universe. Hmm, let me see my staff and see what we can do. Hmm, it would appear that Frieza is nowhere inside this universe either. But how can that be? What do you mean by that, Whis? Before Whis was about to get into depth on what he was saying, Supreme Kai saw his crystal ball was glowing as he began to panic and said, Oh no! This isn't good! It appears that the evil wizard Moro has been released from his jail cell! What? And how can that be, Kai? Just how much did we miss? I believe all of this has taken place during the Tournament of Power. He managed to go to Planet Namek and even use their Dragon Balls. Something doesn't look right here. It's like all this was being planned from the start. Well, whatever it is, I'll go there and end there myself before he hurts anyone else. They all went and made their way towards Planet Earth as Supreme Kai went and he Kai Kai'd everyone there and once when they got there, they saw that Moro's man was already there as they were trying to find the Earth's Dragon Ball. From there, Broly and the rest of the Z Fighters went and they made their way towards them. Upon their arrival, they saw that Moro was standing there as he was already inside his final form. <laughs> I see the Saiyans has made it back from their little tournament. Tournament? How do you know about the Tournament of Power? I take it you're Moro. Guys, this isn't good. We got more coming. As they sense an evil energy has arrived to planet Earth and he begun to laugh. Hmm, I take it you're Cumber. Took you long enough to get here. Hmm, if it isn't you. And I told you this before. I will be the one to kill all of them. You're not gonna have any fun slaughtering these Saiyans. That's my responsibility. <laughs> you wish, buddy. You came to the wrong place. Well, it is time. I eliminate the remaining Saiyans. While they were fighting, back on Zeno's palace, Goku and Jiren were training with Dai Shinken as he got them both to go and attack him, but he was easily dodging them. They were all training inside a chamber where they spent over 3 weeks but that 3 weeks was equal to over 1 year. So in reality they end up training with Dai Shinken for 1 year. Within that 1 year Goku and Jiren both had a huge boost to their power level as they continued to train but all their training session has come to an end since Whis has arrived to Zeno's palace and he had to talk with Dai Shinken. Dai Shinken got everyone out of the chamber as he made his way towards Whis and he told Goku to go and spar with Jiren. Goku and Jiren couldn't help themselves so they tried to go and hear what they were talking about as they saw that Supreme Kai was also there with Vados. This isn't right. How can a Super Dragon Ball just disappear like that? It hasn't disappeared. After my research, I found out that someone managed to use the Super Dragon Balls while we were fighting in the tournament 
thus making it go into hibernation mode. But not only once, they managed to go and use the Super Dragon Balls over three times in a row. But father, that doesn't make any sense. Once when the Super Dragon Balls are used, they scatter across the entire multiverse and you have to go and research them again. That is what's very puzzling, Weez. You're absolutely right about that. Someone has enough power to stop it from scattering and they manage to go and summon it again. But the question is, who is capable of doing such thing with the Super Dragon Balls? And what did they wish for? While they were all deciding on what's going on and who is behind this, back on planet Earth, Cumber stared at Broly and said, Looks like you want to be the first to die. Well, do what you gotta do. I will go and absorb the rest of their power. Don't forget to get the universe seed, or else you'll die by them. Broly went and he charged towards Cumber as he striked him in his face and their battle has begun. While Vegeta and Gohan along with Raditz and Nappa decide to go and take on Moro since Broly wanted to take on Cumber by himself as they were going at it. Vegeta then went and he screamed. Ah! As he is now transformed into his Super Saiyan Blue evolution. Upon his transformation, Vegeta went and charged towards Moro, but before he can, Gohan already went and he charged towards him and he began attacking Moro, as Moro wasn't even phased by Gohan's attack and he looked at him and said, What is this, some type of game? If so, you are going to die right here. He then went and decked Gohan in his face, but out of nowhere, Raditz and Nappa were already inside of Super Saiyan Blue, as they went and strike Moro in his face. Gohan went and joined him and they continued to attack him. He was trying to hold off three Super Saiyan God user, but before anything could happen, Moro decided to stop wasting time and he began to absorb their energy, as he took Gohan by his neck and he began stealing his power. Raditz and Nappa tried to move Gohan off of him, but before they can, Moro went and took his other arm and he caught Raditz by his neck and he was choking the life out of him, but at the same time, he was sucking the power out of Raditz. Vegeta sensed that Moro's power was increasing massively and before this could go any more further, he decided to charge towards Moro as he striked him right in his face and he got sent flying. You will deal with me Moro, I will not let you absorb anyone else. <laughs> you wish buddy, I'm gonna absorb you next. <laughs> I see you managed to get yourself stronger by absorbing and stealing people's soul. Unfortunately for you Moro, I have a technique that could stop you from doing so. Huh? A technique? <laughs> what are you talking about? While Vegeta was busy fighting with Moro, Brawly and Cumber were going at it as Cumber decided to go and he used his Super Saiyan power. You're a fool Saiyan, I'll show you why you don't stand a chance against me. <laughs> Stop this nonsense, I wanna see what you can do. Brawly went and he charged towards Cumber as he tried to strike him but he saw it didn't even phase him. And from there Cumber went and decked Brawly right in his face. From there Brawly got up as he was completely angry towards Moro and he went and screamed. <laughs> Broly has now transformed into his legendary Super Saiyan God as his power was off the chart and before you know it, Broly has come right in front of Cumber's face and he punched him. While that was happening, Vegeta and Moro were going at it, but Moro was still stronger than Vegeta, so he went in three blasts towards him. Vegeta got up and said, You may be stronger than me here, Moro, because you're not using your own power. It's time I put an end to this right now. <laughs> You're a fool. You just saw how strong I am compared to you. You still think you have the power to end me? <laughs> Easily, by using my new technique. Let me show you. <laughs> Vegeta 
Vegeta has used a new technique which he has learned from Planet Yadrit called the Spirit Fission. With this technique, Moro didn't know what was happening as he didn't take Vegeta seriously and that was his downfall. He went and charged towards Vegeta but before he can make a move, Vegeta went and used his spirit fission and he decked Moro right in his stomach causing him to lose a lot of power. Moro started to get very worried as he looked at his body and was wondering what the heck was happening but he saw Vegeta has come right in front of him and he began attacking him non-stop. With each landing blow Vegeta put towards Moro, all the spirits that he has absorbed was leaving his body as he was getting weaker and weaker and he was reverting right back to his original form. From there, Vegeta then went and powered up his fist to his fullest and he punched Moro in his face back and forth non-stop causing him to be separated from 73 and now he has reverted right back to his original form as he was completely old and he had no idea what happened and said, This doesn't make sense! How can you do this to me? You're done Moro! I told you I had the power to finish you off! Vegeta went and powered up a Gallic gun as he aimed it towards Moro and he died right there. Broly on the other hand was overpowering Cumber as Cumber didn't stand a chance against Broly's Super Saiyan God power. Broly then went and he powered up a large eraser cannon and he aimed it towards Cumber as he got hit head on and he passed out. Before they can all think about celebrating, out of nowhere, Heart has arrived as he looked towards the scene and said, Who would have ever thought you mortals have this power to do this? We have easily underestimated you, but now it's time to get you guys back to your senses. What the? Who is he now? Now, arise Cumber, use your full power. <laughs> what the? How did he manage to get up after all that hit? Well Saiyan, I must admit this is something special. I never expect you had the power to do this, but can you handle my true power? Cumber has now transformed into his Super Saiyan 3. From there, he went and charged towards Broly as Broly didn't see him coming and he got punched in his face getting to be sent flying towards the rock. Before Cumber can go and charge towards him, he got kicked in his face as he fell down and when he looked up he saw it was Jiren that kicked him while Goku was right next to Jiren and he looked towards Heart and said, I only give you guys 10 seconds, leave this planet now or else you guys will not live to see the next day. Looks like another weakling Saiyan has arrived. You don't stand a chance against us, if I were you I'll do what Goku said. Otherwise, I will kill you here. Is that so? Well then, let's see what you got. You have no idea what's coming to you. <laughs> what do you expect, Frieza? They will never learn! Huh? What the? Cell? Frieza? What's going on? Frieza! Where have you been? It's been quite a while, hasn't it, Goku? It's time for me to steal more of your power! Majin Buu too? This doesn't make any sense! What is going on, Frieza? Frieza? Cell? What is going on? And how did Majibu get back to its super form? I have no idea what the hell's going on. Frieza! What the hell are you doing there? Tell me! Are you still on our side? No, wait. Don't tell me, Frieza, you are behind this this whole time. Who would have ever thought that this Shima would have so much up his sleeve? <laughs> you pathetic earthlings. Really thought I was with you this whole time? <laughs> Come on, it is all thanks to Babidi. After he used my magic on me that time when me and you fought Goku, it actually broke the seal of what you did to me. You used the Super Dragon Balls to make me pure. 
Just hearing that thought makes me want to vomit in my mouth. If you knew, Frieza, why did you pretend to be with us? It was all part of the plan, mortal. We needed you guys to help us find where the Super Dragon Balls are. And after seeing it during the Tournament of Power, that was our cue. I see. Huh? Daishinken, when did you come? From what you said, it looks like you guys were behind having the Super Dragon Balls go into hibernation. That is right, you foolish angel. With my power, we managed to go and stop the Super Dragon Ball from scattering across the multiverse, allowing us to use it over five times. What? You used the Super Dragon Balls five times in a row? Hmm, that would explain a lot. What did you use us wish for? <laughs> well, the first one is about me, Goku. Frieza brought me back with the Super Dragon Balls, and after that, he used it to make Majin Buu have his strongest form. <laughs> yes, Goku, you tried to beat me before, but now let's see you try again, because the third wish was for all of us to have this key that you call God Key. And the fourth wish was for Hearts to get his universe seed. And the last wish? You'll see what happens if we need it, Goku. Well, you heard him, Goku. This is your matter. It is time for you two to show your master if you can end this war. I want both of you guys to go and defeat Frieza Cell and Majin Buu and put an end towards this charades once and for all. Good luck guys. As Dai Shinken left and from there, Goku began to smile and said, <laughs> Well, we didn't train over for one year for nothing. Jumping to Ultra Instinct already, huh? <laughs> okay, Goku, you'll die by me. Frieza has used his form, which he got from the Super Dragon Balls. <laughs> okay, then, looks like I'll do that too. You won't go near my father's cell. I'll take you down, Boo. I'll kill you, buddy. <laughs> Bring it on. As everyone's battle has begun, Frieza went and he rushed towards Goku and striked him right in his face. But Goku got up and he saw that Frieza went and used his fist to hit Goku again. As he hit Goku in the guts, Goku went and did a backflip, managed to go and kick Frieza right in his face and said, Not bad, Frieza. I'm impressed. Your power has surely increased. What do you expect, monkey? I'm just warming up. <laughs> Bring it on then, Shimeo. Goku saw that Frieza went and unleashed a giant attack, which was strong enough to destroy planet Earth, as he used it to block it, but it managed to go and tore his gi out. While that was happening, Cell and Gohan were exchanging blow to blow, as Cell was overpowering Gohan, and from there he went and started to beat the shit out of him. Gohan tried to use more power, but he saw that it wasn't enough to stop Cell as he was very powerful inside his god form. Cell then went and kicked Gohan right in his guts. While that was happening, Vegeta and Majin Buu were going at it, as Vegeta went and used his technique on Majin Buu, but he saw that it didn't even work on him, since he didn't have anyone inside his body to absorb. From there, he went and used all of his power within him, and he started to attack Buu until Broly came and screamed. Broly has transformed into his legendary Super Saiyan Blue. He then went and strike Boo right in his face, causing him to be sent flying towards the ground. Boo got up as he saw that Broly came out of nowhere and he started to punch his face non-stop. Vegeta came from the back and he started to do the same as he managed to go and overpower Majin Boo. Gohan and Cell's battle was getting a lot intense as he was attacking Gohan non-stop but from there Gohan got mad and he started to kick it up a notch as he went and screamed. <laughs> Ah! 
Gohan has now transformed into his mystic blue. Upon seeing that, Cell looked towards him, and he laughed and said, <laughs> I'm not impressed, Gohan. I can sense your power. Is that so? So then you can see too that I'm holding back a lot of power, Cell. Gohan went and he flew towards him as he striked him right in his face and he started to attack him non-stop as both of their power clashed with one another. Jiren and Cumber were going at it, making their battle to get a lot more intense. Cumber went and he started to squeeze onto Jiren's arm, but Jiren went and kneed Cumber right in his jaw, causing him to be sent flying a couple inches away and before he can look up, he saw that Jiren has come right in front of him and said, Is that all you got? How pathetic. How are you this strong? It doesn't make sense. I should be far superior to you. Keep telling yourself that. Jaren went and used his ultra instinct as he went and landed a decisive blow on Cumber. Hart went and he used a universe seed and he began laughing and said, This is what I call power. I've been waiting for this. It's time I end you guys here and now before... Before he can finish his sentence, Jaren went as he striked him right in his jaw, causing Hart to be sent flying towards the rocks. He then got up as he saw that Jaren was there and he started to attack Hart. Broly on the other hand went and used his power to his fullest as he started to attack Superboo non-stop. Superboo was getting a beating of his life as Broly was far superior to him when it comes to power. At the same time, Broly was doing everything he can to be precaution so that Superboo doesn't go and absorb him. While that was happening, Gohan and Cell were attacking one another. From there, Gohan went in his Mystic Blue and he began to slowly overpower Cell. As Cell got mad and said, This fight is far from over, Gohan. You don't even know the power we have within us. You got it wrong, Cell. You think that I'm the same fighter I was when I fought you back when I was young, but you're completely wrong. I have a lot of power up my sleeve. Gohan went and uppercut Cell as he got sent flying high in the air and before he can react, Gohan came right next to him as he went and kneed him right in his face causing him to fall down with a lot of pressure. While they were going at it, Goku and Frieza were attacking one another as they seemed to be equally tight and Goku said, Not bad Frieza, but is that all you got? How sad. Here I thought that you using a Super Dragon Balls would make you a lot stronger. Uh, shut up monkey! Why you wanna see my true power so badly? You know, I'll crush you guys very easily. Hart was in his last breath as he couldn't believe just how strong Jaren was and before he, he can react, Jaren went and powered up in a massive attack and threw it right towards Hart's guts as it went past him and he died right there. Upon seeing Hart's death, Frieza saw that there was no point of continuing this as all the Z fighters managed to go and overpower them so they decided to go and use their trump card which they had up their sleeve. It was the last wish that they used. Frieza began to laugh and said, We still haven't told you guys the fifth wish, have you, Goku? Hmm? There's no need for that. It doesn't matter. Because you're done here, Frieza. Finish. I'll make sure to never show you mercy again. I believe, Frieza, it is the right time to go and use our trump card. With that power, we can be above the Omni King. That is completely right. Let's use that power. Well then, monkey. Behold our trump card! Goku saw that Frieza, Cell, and Majin Buu has come together as their lights start to shine and from there they went and used a Patora earring as all three of them had a Patora earring in their ears and before you know it, they have gone to become one. What? They have all fused to become one? But how? <laughs> we are the ultimate trump card. The ultimate warrior. You can call this Lord Majin Selza. That's quite a silly name you have for yourself. But how? From what I heard, the Pator earrings could only fuse twice. How did it have the power to do it all three? <laughs> Foolish creature. We use a super Dragon Balls to modify that fusion earring that will give us the ability to use the fusion to its full and have it to be unlimited. In other words, all three of us can't fuse with this magical Patora earring. <laughs> it don't matter Frieza, or whatever you want to call yourself Selza, we still got a lot of more power left within us. Shall we Goku? <laughs> Let's do it then.
Jiren has gone transformed into his limit breaker, while Goku has managed to go and take his Master Ultra Instinct to the next level, as he is now transformed into his Beyond Master Ultra Instinct and said, This battle's over. I'll make sure we win this fight, or else this is all for nothing. <laughs> Bring it on then. Tell us, what is your purpose? Why go through all of this? <laughs> it is simple. I really want to end all of you guys and rule this multiverse. And the best part about our fusion is, it can never be undone. <laughs> I wouldn't be so sure. Goku and I just didn't sat around do nothing. We trained with the most powerful man to ever exist. <laughs> You're a fool if you think that tiny angel Dai Shinken is strong. I can destroy him easily. Goku went and he charged towards Selza as he striked him right in his face and from there Jiren followed and he did the same. Out of nowhere, Vegeta came as he tried to go and attack him too. Before Selza can react, Gohan has come right in front of him and striked him right in the guts. Broly came and he threw a blast towards Selza. Once when the smoke cleared, everyone saw that Selza began to laugh as his entire body has instantly healed due to having Majin Buu's power and from there Selza went and powered up a small blast but that small blast was strong enough to annihilate the entire galaxy. Goku went and he powered up his Kamehameha wave as he aimed it right towards Selza's attack. Once when he did, both of their blasts got dispersed but from there Goku went and rushed towards Selza but before he can react Selza was already standing over him as he went and striked him right in his face. Jiren went and tried to kick him in his spine. Selza was getting angry as he went and threw Jiren down but Jiren got right back up and used his eyeglass towards Selza as he flew a couple inches away. Vegeta and Broly came and they started to hit him. Selza managed to hold him off but until Goku and Jiren came and they started to attack Selza with Gohan's help. Selza was badly hurt as he went and he regenerated himself and he said, You guys think you won this battle? I'll show you true power. Enough of your self-claim. You have done nothing but bark. If you have such true power, why don't you show it instead of telling us? You have highly underestimated us and that will be your biggest mistake. If you were smart, you would have studied how me and Goku train. That way you could have had the upper hand. As true as that may be, I would throw in the towel if I didn't do my homework, but since I did, it is over. Whoa, what in the world's going on? His power just skyrocketed. Daishinkin, what's going on in Universe 7? It seems like they're in trouble. Maybe I should go and erase everything. I would suggest not to my lord. Goku has this under control with Jiren. I want you to go and dispatch some angel. Ask them to take him down, and if they can't, I'll have to step in. I give you guys permission, all the angels are allowed to go and fight, including you Daishinken. Very well my lord, I'll be right back then. What do you think Goku? After witnessing true power, you still want to fight me? You can call this the true power of us. Oh my god, his power level's unreal. I'm not surprised, all three of them fused to become one. Let me demonstrate you my power. As he instantly went right in front of Gohan and he one shot him towards the ground. Vegeta went and he powered up a final flash as he aimed it close up towards Selza but he saw that Salsa walked through the wave like if it was nothing and from there he went and one shot Vegeta. Broly was shocked to see that as he couldn't believe what's going on and he said, What the heck? His power is just something else. It's like we cannot even see him coming. Salsa then went and he rushed towards Jaren but Jaren went and tried to use his eyeglass towards him but it didn't phase him. He then looked towards Jaren and said, Is that all you got? How sad. Here I thought that you'd do much better, but turns out you're just a disappointment. You wish, buddy. 
I still got way more power. Jaren went and he rushed towards Selza, but Goku came with him and they started to attack him with everything they got. Selza was easily dodging all of their hits like if it was nothing, as it couldn't land a single blow on him. Selza went and kicked Goku in the shoulders as he managed to go and dislocate Goku's shoulder, but Goku went and popped it right back in. Broly broke through the rocks as he went and grabbed Zelda and started to attack him, but Selza looked towards him and said, What are you doing, beast? You are far from me. You cannot even imagine my power. Selza went and strike Broly right in his guts as he threw a death beam at him and it hit him head on and he passed out. Upon seeing that, Goku and Jiren got worried, seeing just how strong Selza is, but when they looked at each other, they understood that the only way to win this battle is for both of them to go all out and work as a team, as they did and from there they went and rushed towards Selza. They started to attack him with every angle, but Selza was toying with them and said, You have forgotten what my fusion Selza is. I am the power of Majin Buu, Cell and even Frieza. Selza went and he powered up a Kamehameha wave and aimed it at Jiren. Jiren tried to hold it off as he managed to disperse it but his body was badly hurt. Out of nowhere Goku came and strike Selza but he managed to go and land a hit. Once when he saw that Selza laughed at him and told him, what an embarrassment, this is supposed to be the powerful student of Dai Shinkin, how pitiful. Selza went and kicked Goku right in the stomach, causing Goku's side ribs to break. Goku fell in the ground with pain and from there Selza rushed towards him. As he saw that Goku couldn't move and he went and powered up an attack to throw it at Goku. Before the attack can hit him, Jiren has come in the way as he pushed Goku out of the way and he got hit head on and he passed out. He then looked towards Goku before passing out and gave a little shot of energy which was the remaining energy within him and now he was out for the battle. Goku was still hurt since his bones were broken. Selza walked towards him and powered up another blast to kill him. Before he can throw the blast towards him, Dai Shinken has come with the rest of the angels as he went and took Goku and he began to heal him with his staff. Goku saw that Vados, Whis and the other angels from the other universes has come to fight Selza. Looks like the weakling angels will have to come and enter the battle. Let's dance and see what you guys got. And don't disappoint me you pathetic angels. We have full permission to go all out. You understand angels? Don't hold back. End this mortal with everything you got. As all the angels went and they powered up their key and they rushed towards Selza. Selza was dodging all of their attacks like if it was nothing. And from there he went and strike Whis right in his face but Vados went and tried to kick him but he went and caught her feet and twisted it. Out of nowhere Dai Shinkin came and he managed to land a hit on Selza causing his arm to break but due to Majin Buu being inside him he went and regenerated his arm but the impact was strong enough to get him being sent flying away. Dai Shinkin began to power up his key as he flew towards Selza and their power clashed with one another. Selza went and made 5 copy of himself as they all went towards the remaining angel and they started to attack him while the real Selza was strong enough to go and take on Dai Shinkin. Goku saw that Dai Shinkin was going at it with him as he wanted to come and help before he can come towards the battle. Dai Shinkin looked towards him and said, Don't Goku, this is now the angel matter, leave it to us, if we fail then you do it. While that was happening, Selza's remaining copy went and they started to beat the shit out of the remaining angels while he was going at it with Dai Shinkin. Dai Shinkin went and striked him across his face as he got hit but he flew towards the rocks. Once when he landed he went and used his pressure to come right back up as he flew towards Dai Shinkin and striked him in his stomach and said, Very good, who would have ever thought you would have this power to be strong enough to even hit someone like me? Now it's my turn, let me show you what I can do. Bring it on, so far you have done nothing but just talk about yourself, how about you start showing me what you got. Selsa didn't let him finish his sentence as he went and decked Dai Shinken right in his face and he got sent flying across the world. Goku got mad on seeing that as he went and used his power to 100% and he rushed towards Selsa and kicked him in his arm. But Selsa went and grabbed his leg as he kicked Goku away. Dai Shinken saw an opening as he went and aimed a blast at Selza but Selza managed to go and block the attack. 
From there, Goku and Daishinken started to attack Selza as a team. But Selza was annoyed with them, so he went and powered up a Nova Cannon Blast, which was strong enough to destroy the entire universe, and he aimed it towards both of them. Goku came in front to catch the blast, but before he can, Daishinken went and moved Goku out of the way. As he went and he hold on to the blast, but this blast was like a Hakai wave. Once when you touch it, it erases you from the existence. Daishinken started to get erased while Goku was powerless to do anything to stop it as he saw his master was erasing right before him. Before being completely erased, Daishinken looked towards Goku and said, It's all up to you Goku. Remember your training. The potential we got unlocked. That's the only thing that could win this war. You must try to find it and use the spirit saiyan. Before he can finish his sentence, Daishinken got erased. Goku got very emotional seeing that, as he couldn't control his emotion and from there, he felt a push as he now understood what Daishinka was trying to tell him and before you know it, Goku went and he screamed. After training with Daishinken and having the potential of Frieza which got him to go and achieve new forms in just short amount of time and having his potential unlocked by the old Kai during their training session, Goku has now finally reached the highest pinnacle point of his power as he is now transformed into a Spirit Saiyan. This is called Spirit Saiyan Goku. Upon seeing that, Selza looked towards him and said, what the? What is his power? And how did you manage to get such thing? This? This is just another costume change for a weakling Saiyan. Or should I say, monkey. Unfortunately for you, Selza, you're the first to ever see this and the last. Because anyone that's seen this power won't live to talk about it. Before Selza can react, he got punched in his face two times as he started to bleed from his nose but he saw that Goku was standing far away from him as he didn't even come close to him. Selza got confused on what happened while Goku looked towards him and said, Wow, two soft punches and all you got is a bloody nose. I must admit, I am impressed Selza. <sighs> How dare you mock me! Selza went and he started to attack Goku but Goku looked at him and said, How's this? I'll turn around and you can attack me as much you want. Selza went and started to hit Goku non-stop, while Goku was enjoying every moment of his new power, and his punches felt like if it was nothing. From there, Goku went and elbowed him right in his face, causing him to break his neck as he went and kicked him away. Selza started to go and regenerate, but before he can finish, he saw that Goku was already in front of him, as he went and attacked him with only three punches. Those three punches were strong enough to get him to be on his knees as he couldn't breathe for much longer and he was badly hurt. Goku looked towards him and said, This is the difference between your power and mine. It is time I put an end towards you, Selza. But we have the same DNA. How did you do this? I should have this power too. I am a pure hearted Saiyan. You're nothing but a lowly scum. Selza went and tried to power up a blast that he raised Daishinken and he aimed it towards Goku, but he saw that it didn't even phase Goku. Goku went and powered up a new Kamehameha wave, which was known as Universal Wave, and he aimed it right towards Selza, and once when he got hit, Selza has turned into dust, as he's been erased and killed right there. Goku with his new spirit Saiyan, he managed to become the strongest person to ever exist, as he hardly broke a sweat just to beat Selza who was the strongest foe. Goku went right back to his base as he couldn't sustain this power for much longer but when he used it, it made him so strong that no one can touch him. That is the beauty of the spirit Saiyan. Goku then went and he summoned up the Super Dragon Ball 
as it came out, and from there, he went and made a wish. His wish was to bring Dai Shinkin back. Once when Dai Shinkin became alive again, he was very proud on seeing what Goku has done, and now Goku was named to be the true Omni King. If anything ever happens in the multiverse, it will be Goku's duty to go and save it. Everyone was completely relieved that the war was over, and now they all decide to go and settle down, as Goku with his rest of the Z Fighters went right back to planet Earth, and they were all relaxing and enjoying with their loved ones. One day, Goku was sensing a high power coming from the east. As he went towards it, and when he got there, he saw that it was a fighter standing there. It was no one other than a boss. Whoa! Who are you? I'm confused! Well, Goku, I heard you're the strongest Goku here. I have come here to test out your power. What do you say? Uh, sure! How am I a good challenge? I could send your power miles away. You are definitely a powerful fighter. But I'm curious, who are you? Me? I'm a boss. I'm the one who's holding the tournament of Goku. And you want to show me your true power? If I see you're qualified, I'll allow you to be inside the tournament of Goku. Tournament of Goku? Sure! That sounds interesting! Okay then, behold, I'm gonna show you power that you have probably never sensed before. Goku has now transformed into his final form, his spirit Saiyan is said. Well then, what do you want to do? Not bad at all. I'm impressed, Goku. Now let me show you my second strongest form. Did he just say second? <laughs> Now we're gonna battle to see where you stand. As both of them went and stared at one another and from there they went and charged towards each other. Goku was out of breath as he tried to kick Abbas but Abbas went and took his leg and twisted it as he striked him right in his face and he fell down with high pressure. Goku then got up as he looked towards Abbas and said, how can you be this strong? I told you before, my name is Abbas. If you want to find out how strong I am and how I became the king of all timelines, then I suggest you go and watch my origins, and you'll understand just how powerful I am. You're definitely qualified, I can say you're probably the strongest Goku. Let's do it, enter the tournament of Goku with me. As Goku has agreed to enter the tournament of Goku, and now a boss has left. Make sure you click that bell my Z fans, so you'll be the first to know when a new tournament of Goku happens. And I want to say thank you very much for watching this what if and supporting it. I greatly appreciate it and if you haven't joined my discord server yet, what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below and join it so you can become one of the first Z fighters. I'm GokuT23, have an insane day my Z fans.